Howdy, and welcome back to Hitman 3. On the last episode, uh, we went to Berlin uh, because our, our bro, our bro uh, died, got dead. Uh, so we were going to meet up with Olivia, but um, but we were possibly betrayed by Diana. Not Diana! Uh, and then we had to kill a bunch of uh, fellow ICA agents. Uh, so we uh, Apex Predator their ass. Something I didn't think about until like after I was like, oh right, Apex Predator, because... I even said, you know, the, the hunter hunted, et cetera, et cetera. And then I was like, oh, oh, right. Yeah, we're we're a predator taking out other predators. Yeah, I, I, under I get it now. I, I understand the name. I wasn't wasn't thinking about it that much. And now uh, we've met up with Olivia. And I don't remember what our plans were, but we're going to we're going to do something. God damn it. Look closer. I'm telling you, the file is trash. The Constant doesn't so much burn his bridges as blow them up. Arthur Edwards, whoever he was, don't exist anymore. His personal data somehow deletes itself from any system that records him, way beyond advanced. The partners spared no expense to make sure their controller would be untraceable. How untraceable? Look, I did what you asked, but Gray's gone and I'm no Diana. I'm not who you need right now. You gotta be kidding me. ICA? I used every encryption known to men. Who are these guys? The best. It's only a matter of time before they get lucky. We need to take them down. <sighs> you and which army? I know where the agency stores its files, mission reports, client data. If we leak it to the public, you want to whistleblow the ICA? It's the path of least resistance. Turns out, you are who I need right now, Olivia. I do this, and I'm out. So, what are we breaking into? Data facility in Chongqing, China. Run by a man called Hush. Of course. The ICA site in Chongqing houses the agency's data storage and analyst division. Needless to say, security is daunting. The state-of-the-art server vault is biometrically wired to the facility's two overseers. Imogen Royce, behavioral analysis pioneer, and Hush, a data security guru with a taste for fringe transhuman experimentation. Tell me about Hush. A former cyber terrorist for the Ministry of State Security in Kadanyang who fled his country after one of the Po regime's periodic purges. He made a career doing cybersecurity for dark web deplorables, human traffickers, organ harvesters, scum like him, with no code or conscience. ICA sure can pick him. No offense. Can you disable security? A dual authentication protocol ensures that any handling of data must be directly authorized by Hush and Royce the proverbial human factor device to make the system impenetrable. Luckily, I found a loophole. If both overseers should unexpectedly die within a short space of time, the system reverts to a temporary fail-safe protocol, which I can bypass. Take them off the board, and you'll have free access to the data core, and I'll handle the rest. And you're sure it'll work? Look, I know, Hush. If I'm wrong, we won't live long enough to regret it. All right. I will leave you to prepare. So something fun, uh, completely unrelated to that. I was I was talking about Agent 47's voice, as I do, uh, and I was like, boy, I just can't describe his voice. And then my girlfriend was like, oh, it's like Wesker's voice. And I'm like, oh shit! You know, Agent Forty Seven does kind of have a bit of like the you will give me and like like kind of I I can see it. And I was like, oh damn, that blows this thing wide open. Okay, so we're going to uh, Chan King uh, Chan King China Ch Chan King China. Jesus, too many ch in there for my like bad mouth. Chan King China. Okay, we're going to Chan King China to take out Hush, who I guess helps organ traffickers. Uh, and t or organ harvesters, human traffickers, opposite one, uh, which I guess the hush would be important to the people um, that you go after in freelancer, I suppose. Uh, and I Imogen, Jin, is that how they, they said their name? Uh, Royce, um, 
who does something. I forgot what they do. Uh, but we're gonna we're gonna take him out. And um, have you said that we have to to take him out? And I don't know why I'm checking the the smuggled item. I already know that we're not gonna be able to get that. Um, we um, I should probably bring the container. The container is very useful. Uh, maybe I should stop relying on the container. Neon City suit. Eh. And we have, we have other things we can wear. Like we have we have suits. We have our cash. We have our tactical. But we of course love a theme. Um, we used the buccaneer last. And honestly, like my gut feeling is just use buccaneer every single time. Um, I don't know if I've ever used the lynch suit or not. I don't really care. Um, don't really care about winter sports either. Yeah, you know, let's just we'll go in as a cowboy. You know, everyone loves a cowboy concealed weapon. Has to be a pistol. Uh, one of these pistols is new. I think we. I feel like we had four last time. I looked at this. I'm not sure. I'll just. I'll take. I'll take the chrome one again. I guess. The chrome one feels very cowboy. Um, coin. Uh, do we want to take coin or do we want to take lockpick? I think lockpick would be more useful. Um, I don't remember what I ended up bringing uh, last time we got to pick, because I don't think we got to pick in the previous level, because we were, like, just thrown into it. Uh, we got the remote flash. We got, like, a remote taser, right? Am I, am I crazy? Did we not get a... Oh, well, these are explosives, so maybe it'd be under something else. Oh, yeah, here. Like, no, a medic. A medic gas device. Oh, that's cool. Damn, I got neat things that I didn't know I had. Um, we'll bring... We'll bring lockpick. Lockpick could be very useful, so we don't have to like look around for. Oh yeah, we get to smuggle an item into our our thing, and we'll of course bring a big ass sniper rifle, as we always. Oh, those pirate sa pirate saber is always so tempting because it is hidden in the thing. Um, but we should probably bring something to be useful. We'll bring. Um, what is the pale duck? Oh well, they're all. This is the explosive. So let's bring this remote concussive collector's duck. You know why the hell not? Let's bring it. Uh, we're already set the professional. Um, okay, so we're gonna go and wipe out some data uh, to, or we're going to steal data so we can whistleblow the ICA, so we can kind of, ex we're going to expose the ICA to expose the constant somehow. I'm not exactly sure. It is interesting though, because the constant is wiping all of his data, or it's being like auto wiped by some like algorithm or something, which leaves kind of like, an Arthur Edwards shaped hole and everything, which maybe you could use to figure out. Well, I mean, we know he's Arthur Edwards, but maybe figure out stuff about him that we want to know based on the missing data. I don't know. That's that's video game media speculation. That probably doesn't matter. Let's just let's just begin this thing. Chongqing, China. This city is Big Brother's wet dream, with more than 2.5 million cameras covering 15 million people. Privacy is a four-letter word in this place. It's pretty ironic that a cloak and dagger organization like the ICA keeps its most valuable secrets here. You'll find Hush conducting his fringe experiments in an abandoned apartment building. While Imogen Royce, the archivist, runs the day-to-day -day business of the ICA data facility. I just hope you know what you're doing, 47. Don't worry, Olivia. I never do. Um, okay, so this is the train station that we came in. Oh, we're not able to uh, immediately go back into our train station? Nope, I guess guess not. I guess this door is completely closed on us. Um, okay, so I believe um, Olivia said something about having to um, to uh, take them out uh, in a short period of time. I'm not sure if that's like short period of time, like, uh, you know, the amount of time that you would spend in the level, or if it's going to be like we kill one and it's like, uh-oh, you got to kill the next one in the next 20 minutes or, you know, something like that. I don't think so because I didn't like uh, hype that aspect up. This is cool. This little like walkway that we're coming off of that, that, uh, that train station. Oh, that's that's cute. They have a little dragon that goes by for like the train. There's like little dancing pandas and little little kids. It's the the dragon train goes by. That's nice. A lot of nice like artwork and like just like world stuff going on. Like you know, there's someone's apartment over there. It doesn't seem like we're gonna be getting into it. Uh, not like when we I believe when we went to India, we could go into like a bunch of the apartment buildings, and that was super cool. Uh, maybe that'll be the case here. How, bi how big is this level? Because I have not been... Oh, shit. Making great use of my map. How big is this level? Okay. So we can just see kind of some outskirts of the city. The city... Oh, no, no. 
may, the city seems very dense. Okay, it's going to be more dense than large. Okay, that's that's good because I was starting to get a little worried. Um, but as we can see, it is very dense with um, uh, nine. Am I am I using my brain right? Because it'd be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Wow, I can count. Amazing, incredible. Okay, so I'm yeah. Oh, I need to check out these camera intel things. I don't really do that. How do I tell which floor? I'm on a le level negative three. Okay. Uh, so there's a lot of camera intel things that we could do. Uh, and Royce is on this level. Um, so I guess we'll just start looking around now that we've kind of... It seems like this is going to be like a big tower deal. Because uh, they said Hush was going to be in an apartment building. I forget where they said Royce was. Hey, hey! Machine four. Don't go. Don't go. Don't go in there. Where did I go? Where did I go? If I could just get some quiet, stop the machine thought screaming at me. Constantly screaming in my head. I can't think. I can't think. Think. Yeah, Twitter gets to you too, buddy. Uh, let's see. Confused man. Uh, yeah, okay. So they said... Um, Hush was into transhumanism, which, if I correct, I believe is like the idea of like transferring like consciousnesses to like computers and shit. So I guess he's just doing like human experimentation on uh, whoever he can get his hands on uh, to. Uh, oh, what do you got? Oh, it's a coin. You can keep your coin. I'm not gonna steal your coin. Um, to kind of just you know, uh, Apple. Is there, no, this is just sleeping bag. I'll leave, I'll leave the Apple there. You know, as much as I'm going to pack rat. I don't. I don't want to steal a bunch of like homeless people's like stuff. Uh, you know, that's that's not our. I mean, I was about to say that it, that isn't what we do, but I mean, I do just take whatever I find. So, oh, I was gonna say we're on this uh, level negative three already. Uh, so I was like, maybe we could explore it a bit more. But it seems like we have to immediately go up. I'll go this way. We'll go to the left uh, instead of up those stairs. Uh, that would have been straight uh, had I just kept walking. So I guess uh, Hush is doing some. Scary human experimentation, uh, which, you know, not good, but you hate to see it. Um, oh, also, they had, there were a bunch of those, like, cool, like, round, like, drones, like, real, like, sci-fi shit, like, flying around. Uh, so we'll have to be on the lookout for, like, mobile cameras, which is neat. Uh, not really a thing that we've had to deal with before. Um, all these hanging um, cages, I'm not exactly sure the purpose of them, but they're fucking cool, um, just aesthetically, uh, whatever's going on here. Let, let me see, because I have... The duck. I'm not sure if the duck would get us in trouble. Um, so let's let's just let, yeah let's, let's retrieve duck. Can I retrieve duck? No, I have to get from menu. Retrieve item. Oh, I don't have to put it down. Nice. Okay, so the duck is um, the duck isn't a uh, a legal item because I was thinking maybe we would go ahead and put our gun in the case since we can quickly retrieve it. It seems like. Actually putting it in the case is a bit more... Okay, so let's put this down. Put that down. Um, we're going to conceal item. Yeah, we have to put it down. I'm going to conceal my gun. And then I'm going to pick it up. Okay, so yeah. And then I can, like, uh, retrieve item. So yeah, we can pull out the gun if we ever need it. But if we need to get pat down, I don't have to, like, run away or whatever. I don't think I'm going to be allowed in here. Oh, I am. I thought this would be, like, a workplace. And I went... Oh, what's this? Soap. I will take soap. Like, this is someone's workplace, so someone needed this soap. Someone needs this iron. But, you know, they'll make do. It'll be fine. What's this? I mean, I already knew it was a fuse box, but... Oh, it's a laundromat. That makes more sense. I mean, it said laundromat, but I was thinking, like, a laundromat, like, um... Did you, get to see the lights? you know, like, laundromat, like... I think there was a laundromat in, um... Was it in the India level? Hello. Uh, where, like, you could, um... You know, like, like where you give your clothes to people, and they wash it. As opposed to like a laundromat where you go and wash it. I, I fucking hate laundromats. Um, oh, did this open just now or was it already? It was probably already open. Yeah, it was probably already open. I hate la laundromats. It just sucks to like, you go and you either have to stay there and watch your... Am I allowed in here? No. Sorry. Sorry. I saw you had rat poison. I was just interested. I'm leaving. Sorry. Um, I just, it's, you know, you either got to sit around, wait for your clothes, or just hope no one steals them. It sucks. Uh, they're looking for something on the roof of the laundry. What could they be looking for? Who knows? 
Oh, I got my Dr. Pop. Let's put that away. Yeah, I don't know. I, I um, It's been a while since I used like public laundry because I really lucked out because my mom thought she broke her washer. So she bought a new washer and dryer, and she's like, well, you can have them. But it wasn't broken. Um, she just she started making her own uh, laundry soap, uh, and it wasn't agreeing with the washer because she was making her own laundry soap. Uh, which uh, I, I'll leave you with your newspaper. Which like you can do, you can make your own. I'll take that money. Uh, you can make your own laundry soap. I believe that doesn't sound like that. But this is an interesting karaoke room. Like normally you'd expect like a closed off thing, but it's just just a little little hole in the wall karaoke. That's that's fun. I've never uh, never seen anything like that. Never been to a karaoke place either, though. To be fair. Um, so yeah, she was making her own soap and then the the washing machine started to act weird because she was a making her own soap and also b um she was throwing she would like take a spoon to scoop out her like homemade soap and then throw the spoon in the washer or in the washing machine so like it started to act weird and then she was like well my washing machine's acting up i was gonna you know i was gonna get rid of it but if you want it you can have it and i was like yeah and it was a very it took very little work to make it start working again uh and i used the hell out of that thing I unfortunately don't have it anymore, uh, which was a shame because like it, it didn't work like great, but I mean it was a free washing machine. Who can complain? Um, but unfortunately, oh, execute, execute what? Yeah, but it creeps me out how they're different when they leave. Yeah, I'd say they're different when they enter. Come on, you know what I mean. Like they're not quite there. Some of them in a really bad way. I'd never accept participating in those experiments, no matter how well they pay. No one is asking you to. You just need to keep track of the ones who do. Are these guys guards of some sort, or are they just people talking about uh, the experiments going on? Not exactly sure. I think they're just probably just people talking about the the weird thing. Oh, oh! I bet, bet if we had a crowbar. Yeah, if we had a crowbar, we could get in. Oh, open body dump. Never mind. I made this mistake in Hitman 2 before, where I got excited about going into the sewer. Uh, but no, that's just a place where we could just dump bodies. Hey, hey what up? Howdy, partner. How Wait. you doing? Hey, oh, because I'm wearing the cowboy. Yes, uh, howdy. Yeehaw. Um, I unfortunately lost my my washing and dryer drying uh, the washer and dryer when I I moved out of my last apartment. Um, because like I had very limited space. And, oh wait, what is this? Get the hell out of here! I got this flyer. And it says I can make a lot of money to be in some experiment. They don't want people like us for that sort of thing. No, they only want people like us. The flyer says so. That means it's too dangerous for rich people. Don't do it. Oh, I'm going. This is my chance. I just need to find out where it is. The flyer has a symbol I need to find on the building. That's got Hush written all over it. Using the desperate for personal gain. Maybe this is a way for you to get to the bastard. I like that Olivia's acting as our handler for this. Because like I said in Hitman 2, I was like, oh shit, Olivia's pretty cool. So I'm glad that um, that she's uh, hanging around and helping us out. Um, okay. Oh, all seeing eyes. So we could probably... Oh, I'm assuming this means that we're going to like uh, commandeer those drones for our own purpose somehow. Uh, this one's obvious where we would pretend to be like a homeless person and sneak on in. Um under the guise of doing like these transhumanism experiments. A uh, certainty principle, I'm guessing, would get us closer to Royce. I'm not exactly sure. We can only assume, though. Um, yeah, but unfortunately... Oh, crowbar! Can I have this crowbar? Hello there. Hello. Thank you for the crowbar. Um, oh, flyer. Uh, yeah, the future progress initiative. So I guess we would look for uh, this icon if we wanted to go through on... Um, go through with uh, whatever this guy's doing. I suppose probably the best way to do this would be to uh, knock out that guy, take his clothes, uh, since he's already on his way. And he does seem to be going into uh, some lonely places where perhaps we could just you know, give him a little whack. Uh, you know, it'd be for, oh, those cages are, oh, I bet we can drop those cages on people. Like if I bust out my gun, I bet I could like shoot it and like drop it on someone. Is this a body dump one? No, it's not a body dump one. Although we don't want to dump his body in there. be rich. Rich, you hear? Then you won't look at me like I'm filth. No, you won't. Relax, man. I'm not looking at you. I know what you're thinking. <laughs> but who's gonna be on top then, huh? Me! I can buy shit. 
food, clothes. I can take out your girl if I want to. Hey, listen. Ignore him. He's crazy. Come on. Just let it go. Why not? Okay. Yeah. I should get a girl. Whatever. He's crazy. A nice one. I'll scrub up. Get real nice. Get my head. Yeah, I was thinking like for a second, like, oh, is it, these are the people he's supposed to meet up with? But no. Um, but yeah, I think we. Oh fuck, these people. Uh, I was gonna. Uh, I thought I was like, oh, you know, we'd probably be doing this guy a favor by making sure he doesn't get to this appointment that he's going to. Um, yeah, I, I ended up um, when I moved. I was in a bad way because here's my. Um, I, I I almost died at the beginning of the year. I had a blood clot. Um, so when I was moving, I was dealing with this blood clot, and like I could barely walk, so I couldn't really move the washer and dryer very well. Um, and I didn't have a lot of room and the, uh, the trailer that I was using, um, to, to pack up my stuff. So I ended up just like, there was a guy in the hallway and I was like, Hey, do you want a washer and dryer? I sold it to him for like dirt cheap. Cause like, you know, like the thing was like over a decade old at that point. And while it worked, it wasn't the best washer and dryer. I do miss it though. Cause it was like, Hey lady, want to go to a restaurant with me? I'm gonna be rich. I'll take you somewhere nice. I don't think so. Your loss. Just don't come begging. You've had your chance. Damn, this dude doesn't even have cash in hand yet. And he's already let it go to his head. I mean, he's getting excited. You know, it's it's hard not to get excited whenever you're gonna get money and you don't have money. I know the feeling. I mean, I never, like, went up to, like, just random women and was like, Hey, I'm gonna have money soon. Uh huh? this shit. That's for sure. Oh, there's people up here. Hey, can you go back to your job? Can you stop having a... Oh, I thought he was smoking. I was like, why are you smoking? This chef outfit is really uncomfortable. I wish we didn't have to do all this cloak and dagger stuff every day to get to work. Shh, you can't talk about that stuff up here. Oh, jeez, no one's listening. I'm going to head in and change into something more comfortable. You coming? I'll be in in a sec. I'll see you down there. I figured that guy was smoking, because most people who are just chilling out are smoking on this game. Um, yeah, the kitchen staff's doing something weird. Uh, this guy keeps wandering by, like, places where I could hide his body. Um, I mean, not, not that I'm going to kill him or anything, but... He keeps wandering by place on, like, things that I'm interested in. Uh, and I don't even particularly want to do this one, because I'm not sure. Uh, it's like, where, where the hell even are we in the city? Yeah, because this place is so dense. I mean, it's, it's a cool cool thing, because I, I knew about, like, this neon, like, city-like level. Um, I was looking for... Oh, well, I mean, there's two people here, and there's no one else. I mean, we have... We have the technology for this. Shit. Was today's code? No more of this shit. That's for sure. One, two, Just three. wait to find No. Um... Come on, think. Okay, so there's a lady down there looking for a code. Um, and there's people over there. I was concerned that they would see this guy because I didn't see them until it was too late. But they don't seem to be paying attention. They're not paying any attention at all. Okay, so we'll just go ahead and dump you. And now we have two outfits here. We'll go ahead and take both of them. Uh, we'll go ahead and disguise as Dumpling Cook. Now the Dumpling Cook's out here. And we'll go ahead and grab homeless person. We can grab another flyer, because that's probably uh, some extra XP. No extra XP for that one. And uh, something that I dropped. Let's go ahead and grab this. Um, yeah, pick up. Had to look down again, because I was playing Splatoon last night. So I had to have to re-remember which buttons are which. Um, yeah, we can disguise ourselves as homeless person if we want to do this. Let's. Well, this guy was running here to like change into something else. Not exactly sure where he was going like damn this is this is interesting because like you know i'm used to um american cities uh, especially uh you know i grew up in texas so I don't get a lot of like cities that are very vertical like this that i'm used to um oh hey what's up hi how do we do the do we do the same job it seems like uh we like the guy we're disguised as uh has uh some some a little extra on the side uh I saw the like light like reflect. I was like, "Is there a fire in that car?" Um, I like that we can close that door. Um, <laughs> I don't know why, but that just tickled me. Hi, I'm Tempe. My fingers are sore. I'll be your guide on the facility tour. Spare me the pleasantries. 
I've had an awful flight. Nine hours delayed, luggage lost somewhere along the way, and the airline is trying to avoid their responsibility. I'm hungry and I'm tired, and I want to straighten everything out before I'm doing not to Yes, so sorry about your flight. Just let me know when you're ready. Oh, did you bring the P-41 we left for you in the apartment? No. I wasn't informed that I should. Oh, very sorry, Mr. Pritchard. We need you to bring the P-41 to get the tour. It's procedure. Please pick it up before you come and find me. I'll be waiting by the stairs in the back of the restaurant kitchen. Angus Pritchard. Oh, I was like, have, have we heard the name Pritchard before? But he's a visiting ICA board member. I forgot to form. Uh, forgot to form in his apartment. Blah 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 blah. But I think that also gave us a mission story. Oh no, that wasn't a mission story. That was just intel. Okay. Um, okay, so we could go. I guess steal his form if we wanted to. Um, this guy doesn't recognize us, even though he's an ICA board a uh, agent or member. He doesn't know like. Oh, I forgot. Access to the kitchen. I'll be waiting for him in the back. Understood. Hey, hurry up. The man is starving. Yes, I'll see to it. I'm also allowed in the kitchen. I'm allowed back here. Yes. You see, sometimes you just have to state it before uh, you do it to, you know. So people know. Like, you walk back nice there and... Quiet. Get that order ready. Yes, I'm working on it. How am I supposed to focus? No, I'm not the feeding kitchen. him at the apartment. He Find your inner zen. He was hungry Close after the nine hour flight delay. I'll give him the tour of the facility when he's bonus on the paycheck. Yeah, I'll keep you updated. That's what I do. Sure thing. Bonus. There's so many different people talking about so many different things. Cleaver, yoink, that'll be useful later. We can ding the bell. Uh, we can prepare. Okay, we, what are we doing? Well, we made something. We took, uh,. It looks like salmon or some kind of fish, and we took some octopus. And some rice came out of somewhere, but we did it. We prepared. Get your knife. That's mine now. Thank you. Uh, just just useful things that we can use later. We can overflow a sink. Another apricot. Thank you. I'm glad that they got a use out of this apricot. Uh, we could poison this, but we're missing poison. Unfortunate. We could have had some poison, uh, but unfortunately, somebody... Sorry, I, I wanted this meaty bone. Somebody uh, wouldn't let us take the, the rat poison out of their little office. Um, you talking to your mom now? Okay, so she's wait. She's going to wait for Pritchard. Pritchard's going to wait for food. Um, and then have to go get his form. But I don't even know where his apartment is. Also, I don't know how, how useful that, um, that thing will be. We can, uh, we can pop this open to hide a body uh, if we wanted to. What's this? Interact with the keypad. We don't know the... Oh, is this where we heard the lady where she's like, shit, what's the code? Yeah, we might have walked by. Um, I don't think we got intel for that. Uh, but she was like, zero, one, one, six, something like that. I um, wasn't really paying attention to that because I was trying to uh, focus on other things. There's a lot of stuff going on in this game. Um, just like, just generally, like, you know, this is a dense area. A lot of stuff. Uh, you know, I'm a little bit lost, to be honest. Um... Like, right now, this place seems huge to me. Um, but, I mean, you know, we just started the level, so... I'm gonna run around, uh, kind of try and familiar, familiarize ourselves, see what oh, we can find out. I mean, so sore. Like that. I fell over because a homeless woman suddenly jumped up right in front of me. She was hiding in a hole with cardboard covering her. I nearly stepped right through. Wow. So, I was laying there, my knee hurting like hell, and she started yelling something about me stealing her past. What's that about? I saw another one pounding a stone to the pavement. He just kept repeating. How did I get here? I don't understand. <laughs> Is it just me or have they up the crazy lady? They must be hell for this. Well, at least someone is trying to help them out. There's this building where I've seen them go. I think they helped them out. I'm glad that that lady has uh, empathy. We're like, oh, someone's helping them out. But uh, they're not they're not being helped out. These other people are like, oh, they're, you're just crazy. It's like, mm, maybe maybe something's wrong. Maybe something's wrong, actually. Hey, have you considered that something's wrong? Especially, I mean, something's clearly wrong because, you know, we have homeless people. Um, you know, so clearly a problem is occurring. Uh, you know, 
But then, like, oh, you know, they're acting strangely, so maybe something is extra up. Um, we could unlock door, but then these guys get mad at us. We don't know what their deal is. I can see you, and I'm going to get you. I don't know how yet, but I'm going to get you. I also don't know how to get down over there. It seems like since we were on level negative uh, three and there was no way down there, I'm guessing that we're going to have to, like, just find, you know, some other way. Sir, you've got the wrong place. You don't qualify for the homeless shelter. Okay, well, good enough. Like, I could I could qualify for the homeless shelter. Like, you you assume. I ha Just because I have a job doesn't mean I have a home, you know? I, getting, getting a home is hard. Uh, did we walk by here? I think we walked by here earlier. Because um, I recognize that... Um, yeah, here's the, the karaoke. Um, yeah, I recognize that little, like... It's three in the morning. And I swear I've seen at least four chefs turning up for work. I think you might underestimate the power of a late night noodle bar. You up for grabbing some? It's gotta be good if what you're saying is true. I never eat after midnight. But I'm such a noodle noodle. If you gotta talk like that, you can go alone. Hey, I'll go with you. I'm in a noodle moodle. Shit, it's lunchtime where I'm at. Uh... Yeah, I'll, I'll go with you. Let's 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 go. Let's go. Let's go get our noodle moodle on. I like that guy. I'm I'm with that guy. That guy's my best friend now. Uh, Jeff from the uh, the Hitman One DLC. Uh, no longer my best friend. It's all about Noodle Moodle Man. That that guy's my homie now. Um, also, speaking of of Jeff from Hitman One DLC, I saw a um. An escalation, and I don't know if it was in this game or if it was from two, but it, I, I think it popped up on like my main menu for this game, uh, where it mentioned like Jeff. Um, oh, we did like a loop. I, I enter. Okay, so we did like a loop around the city. So maybe it's not as daunting as I thought it was. Um, someone talking over there, but we're too far away. Um, <clears throat> is this place died about it? Yep. says they use recipes the original owners perfected like 20 years ago i doubt they change anything now like you've never used a little bit too much salt hmm. we're not getting the text wasn't popping up for them so i would like to listen to what they were saying but without the text i don't want to i don't want to I, I, I don't want to listen and have to subtitle it in post because uh, that that takes a lot of time to do um oh rat poison yep let's you know i don't know if this will benefit us I don't know if you've already been you served. Go right in. Yeah, I, I know I can go right in. I, I, Hi, Oliver. I write in anybody looking? Go ahead and just poison. Yep, use our rat poison. Will this benefit us? Probably. I thought I heard bubbling, but I don't see anything boiling. Hmm. It might just be the rain. We'll go ahead and... Bing! Oh, he picked up his stuff. Cool. Food's done. Ooh, yeah, they got like 30 aprons. That's cool. Yeah, what's wrong? You don't like the you don't like the gas that I put on it? Do I need to ding it again? Come on, serve it. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, there you go. He was like, mm, the food normally doesn't have the green gas, but you know, sometimes sometimes you gotta experiment with your food. You know, I I put a little green gas on it. I don't know what this is going to do for us, but this dude's an ICAA board member, so we should probably deal with him, and it'll probably do something good for us, so... I have no clue what I'm doing anyway, so might as well just follow through. What's coming? A hair in my soup. That wasn't hair. That was rat poison, baby. We could poison it again. Great. He ate the... He basically just ate the poison out of it, and then left, and then we had the option to poison it again. That's pretty good. Uh, but you know what we're going to do... We're gonna do what we always do. Oh, I can't. I could drown him in the toilet, but I would have loved. I would have loved to drown him in the toilet, uh, because I'm a horrible. Hor There's something wrong with me, inherently, uh, and that's just funny to me. But we're not gonna do it. We're just gonna hide his body and. Uh, oh, does he not have a? Yeah, I was gonna say, where's his disguise? Disguise. Oh no, no, that's we're, we're not. We're not. Agent 47, we're not taking cover. I don't know if I've ever used the cover me mechanic to... How do I stand up? There we go. I don't know if I've ever used the cover mechanic to any uh, benefit in combat. I've definitely used, you know, like, sneaking. But I've never, like... I don't think I've ever... 
intentionally like snap well to. Tonight, oh, hello. Yeah, it's me. Same same man. Same man. We need to go to his apartment and get a P41 form. Um, I don't know where his apartment is. Though. Was that in our intel? Um, security slip. Uh, yeah, that was the access code that we heard about. Um, was it employee infiltration? I would no employee infiltration is that one. All seeing eye. Oh, all seeing eye. Oh, oh, hey, it's labeled for the uh, the missions that they're in. I using my my noodle. Wow, and I've the final ingredient. Yeah, we did that one. Um, forgot a form in his apartment. He needs to bring the facility guide. Uh, yeah, this doesn't really help. I'm assuming this picture will help us. I think we've seen that white. Oh, it's right in front of us. Okay, so. His apartment wasn't very far away, so that's useful. It was useful to us, because I was like, I don't know where this fucking place is. It's just right over here. Hello? Any goodies in the lobby for me? now? Nope, just some guys. Do you have a gun on your back? He's got something on his back. I'm gonna sh Yeah, that... That gun. Yeah, so there's... You want, wouldn't want someone to hurt themselves. Or, or you wouldn't want hurt someone to hurt themselves. See, like, I just can't do... Because it's like... Agent, it's not as goofy as Wesker, and I'm thinking, I guess, specifically Resident Evil 5 Wesker. Um, is there anyone in here? There seems to be someone in there. I probably shouldn't unlock it because I'm like, hey, hey, no, you don't. You unlock my door. Interact with the keypad. So I normally don't like to step away during recordings, but uh, the big old garbage truck that picks up the, uh, the big old dumpster for the apartment next to us uh, came by. And then I realized, oh, it is actually very close to lunchtime. I should probably go make that. Um, so I stepped away, and I made a, a improvised, improvised Lanzo noodle. L Lanzo noodles? I think that's probably the pronunciation. Because right, one of my friends made a, uh, an improvised Lanzo noodles uh, a couple months ago. And I was like, damn, that sounds pretty good. So I saved her recipe. And then when it came time for me to make it, I was like, oh, well, I'll just put my own stank on it. Uh, it, it came out pretty good. I thought... need to find another way in, sir. Sorry for the inconvenience. I'll get in any way I want. Having trouble with the concept of no trespassing. Move yeah. it. You're about to have a problem with uh, a dent in your head, but that, we don't need to go in there, so that's fine. Um, so yeah, came, came out pretty good. Um, so if I've completely forgotten things from the first 20 minutes of this, I'm sorry. Uh, interact? Yeah, I just wants, wants us to push buttons. What if I pull up my camera? Will Olivia uh, help us out? She did that for us that one time. No, it's just like take photo. It's not like, oh, go into hacking mode or anything. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure about the camera. Uh, we don't. I don't believe we got a code uh, when we were messing around with uh, this guy. I think this was under certainty principle. Final ingredient. Uh, he needs to bring... The facility guide. Yeah, I think there was... I think this is the only other apartment. Because there was one downstairs. There was a lady in there. Uh, so that could be ours. Uh, so this could be a problem. Can you all see me if I come over here and I just, like, drop down? Like, will you all get ma Like, I think I think they're looking at me. So I think they'd be like, hey, why are you, why are you dropping down? But I guess we'll find out. No, they're cool with it. How do I drop? Oh, I guess I need to. We can't just drop. Um, we gotta. We gotta shimmy down. Agent Forty Seven is concerned about his knees, and I do not blame Agent Forty Seven. I would also be very careful with my knees, uh, since I have some battle knees. Mhm. Mm there we go. We just had to use our noodle. Oh, I thought this would lead out. This is just a bathroom. Um, I don't know why, but I came into the bathroom. I started looking immediately for a scale because there's scales there's in a lot of these. Like, uh oh. don't know why uh, that, that keeps happening um well i mean it's it's because the server connecting and stuff so it's i know why it's happening but it's it's interesting that it, it keeps happening oh is this the front door yeah here we go i i thought that bathroom would be the front door and there was nothing in there but i started looking for a scale because there's been scales and like all of the bathrooms and um all of these games so i was hoping to find a scale to see if it works because in the other games they wouldn't work uh but you know just just helpful soda can Okay, so this guy showed up, and he immediately uh, got out soda, got out some chips, some magazines to read. It looks like some ICA files. Um, we got some, I'm guessing that's liquor on the table. Um, three different bottles. Going to have a, a heavy and hard night. Is this, this looks like the for, yeah, P41 form. Let's listen to some messages, though. Hello, Mr. Pritchard. 
I've just learned that your plane will be delayed beyond the lifetime of the entry code you received for the facility. For your convenience, we've set up the new code to be 0118 to match the one for the apartment. I hope you enjoy your stay. Hi, Chanting here. Mr. Pritchard, I'm just calling to tell you to bring your P41 for the facility tour. Thank you. Mr. Pritchard, I just read your report and share your concerns regarding facility leadership behavior. I fully back your decision to inspect, and I would appreciate updates on your initial findings as they come in. Good job. Oh, you got new menus. I had no idea. Uh, do you still have the... Sorry, what? Right, yeah. Uh, just some sparkling water is fine. So, do you... Oh, <laughs> right here. Yeah, so I'd like to get some soup dumplings. Right, sorry, yeah, with the crab. Uh, and how about some of those... Shit, what are they called? The, the crispy ones? Yes, those. Perfect. You know what? I'll get a double order. And uh, a plate of the I thought I heard the, the message stop, but then that guy just kept talking. It's a shame it wasn't uh, subtitled, though. Also, very funny that, like, because the Pritchard dude that we're impersonating, like, uh, whenever he was talking to, uh, what was her name? Uh, Chen Ting, I think it was. Um, when, when he was talking to her, he was like, I didn't know I needed it. Whenever she lit she's literally the one who left the message of, oh, hello, you're going to need this dude. Um, Damn it, I did it again. So that's that's very funny uh, follow up to just a, a small line, a little little continuity there. He was told he just didn't didn't check his messages because he had a lot of messages. Because uh, like when we uh, got messages the first time, um, the um, when we got messages the first time in the last level, uh, Dartmouth, uh, Dartmouth. Um, I'm still not sure about the pronunciation. I, I probably could get it if I saw the words, but I do not see the words in front of me, so it's a mystery. Um, when we answered that, there was only one message there. So I wasn't expecting a bunch of messages. Also, I still don't know what you, how useful this will be to us. I'm guessing this is going to get us close to Royce, though. And we're allowed in the back, I think. We're allowed in the back. Like, she just said, come to the stairs in the back. I'm not sure if they wanted... I'm not sure which way they wanted us to, to come in, though, but it, it doesn't matter, because we're here. Uh, let me actually, um, got a lot of illegal items. I'm just going to grab something that'd be useful to throw at someone, though. And also, we have the code 0118. I'm just saying it out loud so I don't forget. I'm ready to inspect the facility now. Good. I hope you enjoyed the food. Did you bring the P-41 we left for you in the apartment? Yes. I have everything I need. Good. Let's continue the tour. Continue, you may say. We haven't even started the tour yet. But we have. Without you even noticing it, Mr. Pritchard. Invisibility is the best security there is. You see, the restaurant is in fact a front that lets all ICA personnel arrive unseen. Who notices a dumpling cook on his way to work? Dressing the part takes you a long way. ICA guarantees absolute discretion to all clients. We take that promise very seriously, as you will see on all steps of the tour. I'm glad she didn't realize that we're suddenly bald and a different man. Let's step inside. I keep thinking she's going to talk, so I'm not saying Doesn't anything. Doesn't look like much, does it? Ms. Chen and visitor, welcome. Please report to security desk for visitor sign-in. Will do. I love the facility AI. It's really looking out for us. And we're in. The inside is a self-contained modular build that can be disassembled and removed in less than 12 hours if we are compromised. No trace we will ever hear. I agree. Leaving no trace behind is the only sensible M.O. The outside shell is a building marked for demolition. We've put a hold on it with city planning. A deliberate misplacement of the order. But have people in place to rectify that. At first shift, city construction will move in. Hey, 
Our policy around ICA personnel is that they are a resource, but also a risk. On top of contractual repercussions if breaches occur, we perform detailed vetting on everyone. The first, blunt vetting, is a frisk. We have, of course, never had any employees trying to bring unauthorized weapons inside the facility, but we do consider the step important. I'll need to start the setup of your visitor security clearance here, Mr. Pritchard. Please give me your P41, Mr. Pritchard, so we can get things rolling. Thanks. I'll get the procedure started. It'll just be a few moments, so feel free to have a look around. I'll meet you on the other side of the frisk. Naturally, you'll have to be frisked like everyone else. No exceptions, Mr. Pritchard. Aw, oh, dang. I'm, I'm glad that she's like, I'll give you a moment, which is great, because I'm going to run... Uh, over here, I suppose. Um, I think I saw a trash can over there. There's no way you're getting through that door 47. It only opens for people with an authentic security clearance. The signal is encrypted. Without a dongle, we can't hack it. I love whenever people call USB like the sticks a dongle. I'll say, hey, I, 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 eh, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's, it's the develop, it's the, the developers were like, hey, it's, it's us. Hello. Am I allowed over here? Hell yeah, I'm allowed over here. Is this trash can? This is useful trash can to me. Because I... How many... How many things can I conceal in here? Um, oh, why is my gun out? Oh, my... Because my gun is already concealed, so it should be fine. Uh, knife? Knife's illegal, so let's put knife in there. I have two knives, though. Who's seeing me? I can only hide one knife. Well, I have... A couple of legal items, it would it would appear. Um, did I pick up another gun? No, it's just telling me that one gun. It was giving me the option to hide the other gun. Okay. Well, we don't need a special place to hide weapons. We could go in there and there's trash can. Um, oh, there's also a trash can over here. We'll go ahead and conceal another knife. Oop. Is there any other trash cans? Because that, that'd be nice, because my other plan was just to drop shit right here. That's what I was originally going to do. Um, there, there's this, what was this, this box I can have? Can I have this box? mine now see like there's trash can right here but that's not useful to me because these people are right here we, we might be you know look, i'm just gonna see i don't think we can hide shit like right in front of them and i can just save over this it's fine but you know we might as well just see camera you can hack that panel okay I'll, I'll hack the panel sure would have been nice if you could hack something earlier for me but okay Access granted. They should be more than sir or ma'am. <laughs> That's a terrible idea. Security protocol overruled. What did that do? It's like we just made the glass like less useful to us, didn't we? Huh. I don't I don't know why. Oh, you know what? This is probably here so we could like get away with something if we wanted to. Cause this guy's looking at his phone, so I think it'll be fine. I think if I go conceal something i because i think my only other illegal thing is that cleaver scissors are fine i can carry scissors where i want hey. Shit. Hey. I could seriously do something okay yeah yeah see i didn't i didn't think that would work i you know i just wanted to test just had a little, little test you know sometimes you gotta test things uh and see, see what happens because i didn't think that would work so unfortunately i brought three illegal things and and while there are three trash cans uh, you know, oh. let's go ahead and just, I'm going to hack the, mm, I'll go ahead and hack these. Why not? It could be useful to us later. I'm not exactly sure. I feel like these are here just to tutorialize like, oh, if you need to create like a, a hidden thing, you can, oh, we could, we could change channel on TV. Would that like make this guy come over Would this guy be like, Hey, what's that sound? Oh, that, that, that does. Okay, cool. take over damn that guy like heard the tv change he's like i put it specifically on our logo channel and uh, ooh, ooh, this is pissing me off that's fine because now we can get frisked while this guy uh does wait actually i don't think i think they make you open your case too now that i think about it so i think if i walk through with the case i'll they'll be like oh can i check your case so let's come over here and you know i'm just gonna drop the case but hmm Case could be useful, but I think case would be less suspicious than gun, so I'll just drop that here and hope no one checks it. 
Then we'll, we'll make do. We have we have shit to throw at people. It'll be fine. Hello there, sir. If you want to get through here, I'm going to need to go through your pockets, Okay, just go ahead and go through my pockets. It's fine. Yeah, let me take a look. Yep. Just like the movies, right? It's just like the movies. Yeah, they do this in movies. Yeah, you got to make sure. Yeah, you got to check my crotch. I could keep some dangerous right. weapons there. Like a... He did like a little, like you bump at him. He does like a little, little wiggle. It was fun. Um, yeah, I, I was gonna say like you could have like, like one of those like, um, what what are those actually called? They they were like popular in like the early two thousands with like, like goth kids and stuff. They would get like these like metal like finger armor like things with like little like claws on the end. But you could get one. I was gonna say you get one for for Agent Forty Seven's penis, and then it's that that was the entire joke. And I realized it wasn't worth saying and or explaining, but I had already started saying it. So of course, I you know if you once you start committing, you have to finish committing. There's you know there, there's this thing called a sunk uh, sunk cost fallacy, and it's bullshit actually. What is it, Jamie? What's wrong? I don't know. I'm just worried about the scan. What? But why? It's just something you walk through. You've done it a hundred times. It's completely safe. I don't mean the scan itself. I mean that my results won't let me pass. My level's been just within the tolerance the last couple of days. Really? Mental or physical stats? Yeah, well, it's all connected, isn't it? Blood pressure, perspiration, stress hormones. And now I start to fear the scan itself. And that's not exactly improving my numbers. Hey, you'll be fine. Calm down. Just take a few deep breaths, okay? You're fit and good at your job. Just focus on that and you'll swoop right through. Don't worry. It is interesting that all of the ICA agents pretend to be um, uh, the, the dumpling chefs. Because you, you would think you would want a bigger operation. Because it seemed like that restaurant wasn't like super duper big or anything. Hey, uh, anyone? These are huge bathrooms. Jeez. Toilet control panel. I guess that's like for the bidet. Oh, that toilet looks... Looks strange. I'm guessing it has some manner of soap in it. Like, there's those, like, soap that gets, like, deployed into the toilet, like, automatically, and not just, like, they got some nasty water. I mean, it could just be nasty water as well. Let me out. Let me out. Where am I supposed to meet this lady? She said, like, the other side, but I don't... Oh, was I supposed to go in this analysis office? Am I forced to walk through, um, this camera? Oh, well, I'm not forced to walk through the camera if I'm just sneaky about it. Ice. Access denied. You don't have clearance to open this door. <laughs> I know that that's like the the like security thing, but I like to think that Olivia was like fucking with us. Like, hey, hey, you hey, don't asshole. Have clearance to open this door. Like, I can't, I can't hack that one. I suppose I probably had to talk to someone at reception. Someone help me. Where am I supposed to go, guys? Where was I supposed to meet this lady? Because where, where did she say that we were going to meet? Employee vetting, I guess. Oh, you know what? I'm I'm stupid. There was an entire hallway we could could walk down, and I just did not. I just didn't walk down the, the hallway, and even though we were hearing about Jamie's woes, and I just completely forgot that I could just continue down this direction. Scan initiated. Scanning all body systems. Wouldn't they be scan and be like, hey, Scanning wait? Hormonal profile. This isn't the right guy. This Scanning isn't. Chemical profile. This isn't the right guy at all. In fact, I think you're Agent 47. Complete. Thank you for your patience. Oh, okay. I guess it's just like... I guess it's not like a scan in that it like... Oh, you're not the person you say you are, but it's like a... um, It's it's just checking to make sure that we're not like... Like like, like he was saying, like, oh, it's freaking me out. Like to make sure you're not like... um, Like, like in a heightened sense of like... Access something. Denied. You know, so it's not like I'm walking in like, oh, this person's going to like, uh, you know, kill everyone here or whatever. Uh, you know, some, something like that, I'm, I'm guessing. Let's go ahead and just knock this guy out before I try and do anything. Actually, you know, let's not throw it at him because I think if we get close to him. I thought if we get close to him, we would get like the pacify option. Oh, well, let's do it. Let's do it from behind so he can't like if he wakes up like you can't like. Oh, that it was it was him, officer. Wait. So I think if he would have seen us, he would have been able to, uh, like, identify us later. Not that people are going to get him, because we're going to put him in this closet. And once they're in the closet, I don't think they can ever find them. Maybe on the highest difficulty, which name I keep forgetting, because I just do not check. I'm pretty sure it's hardcore, though. Um, I feel like perhaps uh, 
like that would um may may maybe in that this is just a this is just something Agent 47 would look would wear. I mean, the the suit jacket I think is a little small for him. It looks like, which is weird because we, as we've learned, he's of uh, he's of average height apparently, which I, I don't know. I think he would be a large man if you just just looking at him. I don't know. Maybe I should have stuck with the other thing. Um, tier one access dongle. Booyah! It was good to come in here. We're probably gonna have some uh, enforcers now that we're walking around. Uh, an employee like area where people are like wait a second you're not you're not employee I don't know who you are so what's next ah yes uh, the full body scan reveals potential for various employee failure scenarios we evaluate many parameters and overall they fit in three categories first we have the physical assessment where we scanned for health risks such as heart or organ failure strokes or seizures of course also tumors bacterial infections and physical changes due to virus any questions? Uh, so it's pretty much a full screening for diseases. Will you tell us if you, you know, find anything? We have procedures for that, of course. Prognosis is full recovery within a shorter time frame. We provide medical treatment and cover the cost. All right, excuse me. I'll be back in a second. <laughs> I think that guy's a little worried now, like, uh, what about my, uh... Cause like he did say in like a short time frame, so if it's like a long, a long disease, it's probably like, eh, I mean, maybe, maybe, maybe not you, you know? Hey, can I not get in here? I have, a, I have a dongle. Do I need to, do I need to use my camera to get through even though I have the dongle still? Yeah, okay. Even though we have the dongle. Security protocol overruled. Even with the dongle, we still hack with our camera. Interesting. They're just chatting. Not a real chat. I mean, it could be a real chat. Like we could sit here and listen to them, and I bet it's interesting, uh, but it's not subtitled, so I'm I don't I don't want to I don't want to wait. What? Oh, I saw this guy in front of the Doctor Pop. Is that Doctor Pop also? Yeah, it's the same logo. I saw this, but with like the the D and the R. I thought he had like little bunny ears for a second. I was like, what the fuck is this guy? I wanna I wanna wear that outfit. I want the bunny ears, but no, it's just just the Doctor Pop logo, unfortunately. Oh, and they got the little like micro hotel rooms. If I kind of want to stay in one of these. Um, I'm not sure how I'd do because, like, some I'm like hit and miss with enclosed spaces. Sometimes I'm like, oh yeah, you know, it's a neat little like you get your little space and it's neat, but also it, there's like a small amount of claustrophobia. I for so for me, love it's to know about Royce's project. I'm sure it's something brilliant. Could be. Her programming is it's like an athlete's body, optimized for perfection, powerful exactly where it's needed, and so natural like you see it and know that's exactly how it's supposed to look natural oh, not the word that comes to mind when i think of royce and i don't mean her implants and past excursions into the world of body augmentation i mean her weight she's a mismatch of non-compatible forces what do you mean shy but overconfident in a very bossy way and extremely introverted and yet she knows everything about everyone working here she has all the gossip even before it's been voiced. How does she do that? I think she can see the essence of things, like gaze through options and visualize the conclusion. It's some kind of superpower. What? That's just nonsense. I think it's her project. She's testing it on the staff. It must be some kind of profiling tool. Come on, you analysts already master the art of profiling. I think it's something a lot bigger than that. Hmm. Royce is doing something uh, interesting with her coding. What is this? Wow. Wah? Did I just walk by this hey, dude and go wah? This isn't a waiting room. Are you staying or leaving? Okay, damn. You just I walked up to the thing and you went wah. I I didn't know what to do with that information. Employee exit, where's this gonna put me? Oh, this is back in the hallway where we dumped our shit. So I guess we could um turn back around and get through that way. I don't know. Uh, and it seems like this is going to lead us back up to street level. Yeah, we don't particularly want to be here. I I mean, we can come down here and take take out Royce, I suppose. Uh, I mean, I, I kind of just for like me, I was like, maybe we should do them like in order like that they're listed. Uh, but also like that probably doesn't matter. Um, server room. Let me in. What's in the server room? Um, there's a loosen mountain uh, mounting i think if we undid that we could like uh drop something in there i think that's what that does not like um 
It's not an Amoogus uh, event. I just, ha if I had gone the other way, I wouldn't Security have had to circle through the entire thing. Overruled. Is there anyone in here? There are people in here. Can y'all see this? Am I allowed in here? Sure as hell I am. No one saw me. Uh, oh, screwdriver. Nice. Then have to run around for an hour and a half looking for it. So we'll just have it whenever we need it. Convenient. Oh, what's this? I don't need it, but I'll take it. Oh, I'm not, I wasn't sure if it would give us points. Uh, newspaper. Uh, well, I'll just leave the, oh, banana. Now, banana's coming with us. Newspaper. Newspaper can stay. Banana, definitely ours now. Um, anything else? Doesn't seem like, I thought we were going to meet that lady, but I don't know where the hell we were supposed to meet her. Or even if, uh, another tier one? Sure, it's mine. Why not? what the next entry front will be. I'm rooting for a gym. Wouldn't mind commuting in my tracksuit. They'll change the front the week after next. Yeah, we gotta keep security tight. It's just how I like it. You know, Royce commended me for showing initiative. Yeah. In person. Ah, that's cool. I like the way he said showing initiative. He was so so proud. Oh, so proud. There was there was an elevator here. It's not currently here. That doesn't matter. We can we can use elevator however we want. Also, I like that they pointed out like the whole like changing the front because I was like, when people just like people are already noticing like all of the like that one guy was like, hey, there was just like a shit ton of um, chefs at this place at 4 a.m. Why? Um, so you know people are noticing. So they they change their front every once in a while. Uh, to, you know, not get caught. Which, you know, good idea. But also, like, they said that they can tear down this place in 12 hours, which seems insanely fast, but, you know, uh, that's what we were told. I, uh, camera. These are strange. Strange little vents. Don't really get the setup for this, but I guess this place is, like, modular in a strange way. So it's probably, like, you know, they, they built it into, like they said, the existing ar uh, architecture. Um, so I suppose like it's just supposed to be that way. And we saw this on locked door, I think. Uh, we did come across a locked door. It may not be the same one. Um, okay, well, we have... Um, we're, we're accumulating ways to get into here. Um, so we could like bail if we wanted to, but we're already here. So, oh, another screwdriver? Sure, sc more screwdrivers couldn't hurt. Because like worst case scenario with screwdrivers, we could, um, we could start throwing them into people's eyes or whatever. Um, you know, use it like a knife, uh, which is funny that like there's illegal items like knife and it's like, well, I mean, why would I need knife when I can get screwdriver and no one's going to get mad at me for screwdriver. Um, and I can, you know, I can just use it like knife. Hmm. Okay. So that, that was interesting. Not exactly sure why. Is that just, yeah, it's just a body hiding place. Let's put a screwdriver away. This puts us on the other side of this. What am I missing here? Oh, you know what? I, I for, we, we got that tier two. So now we can come back here. Maybe uh, the guy we were impersonating already had tier two access, so he could have come back here if he wanted to. Security protocol overruled. So maybe we're supposed to meet that lady over here. Maybe it doesn't matter. Maybe we never need to see that lady ever again. Uh, but now we're in tier two, uh, which has... Are there nine tiers here? Damn, I, I doubt that... Well, I was gonna say I doubt it goes that far. We go because if we're going up, it could be possible for there to actually be nine tiers. Um, damn, that'd be the crazy to have like variable map. It will play out as predicted. Yeah, I know. First go. This is not just about the future of the ICA. It's my future as well. First thing, bye bye hush. I'll run them right away. Okay, so there's Royce. We don't want to go in there because. Uh, she's an enforcer, and uh, one of the guys in there is an enforcer too. Um, let me see. We we actually didn't. Oh, we lost the uh, cer certainty principle. Um, I guess that's because we started doing this our own way. I think we were like on track to do it, but I guess maybe because I didn't follow that lady's instructions, I borked it. But that's fine. Security protocol. It doesn't matter. We'll we'll figure out how to kill her. Um, we'll make it work. Is she the only enforcer in there? Yeah, she's the only enforcer. I know you're waiting for your girlfriend to make up her mind about moving in, but you've got to leave that outside the facility. What? Uh, how, how did you? Uh, yeah, uh, of course. That's Imogen Royce. Quite the bitch, apparently. Nothing wrong with her look, though. Edgy. I just don't see how you're 
She can't possibly guess stuff like that. I've told no one about my cat. Well, we're in it now. What there is to know, she knows. Still doesn't feel right. Good evening. I liked, um, I liked Olivia's, like, take on the situation. Like, ah, oh, quite the bitch. It's just like, yeah, oh, okay. Diana would normally... Really sorry, sir. Unfortunately, I'm not allowed to let you pass. Don't Orders, have you know. things to do. You Asshole. Mean... You'll never come through here as long as I'm alive. Now get the fuck out of my face. Well, damn, I can... As I said, I'm really sorry. <laughs> I'll fucking kill you if you don't leave. Oh, my, 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 uh, my apologies. My apologies. I, I'm sorry that I said I would fucking end you if you just minorly inconvenience me. I would like you to fucking try it, by the way. Just give me one reason to fucking snap, and I will. Um, also, that, that guy was saying something along those lines, too. So, we'll just go ahead and hack that. I'm not sure if he'll be like, ah, oh, fuck, that thing opened. No, nah, this dude's, like, super duper into his work, so we'll just go ahead and uh, unlock some shit. Why not? Yeah, just grant me some access. Love access. I will take tablet. Is tablet intel? Angry memo. Um... Whoever's messing with the RFID chip system causing to cause my computer to send me on breaks, stop! I hate taking breaks! While you may think it's an, just an amusing little prank, I can't risk Royce seeing me on... Oh, I see. Seeing me on break all the time. She'll fire me. Like she did Ted. Please stop. Okay. So someone's basically, like, putting break on his, like, schedule when he's not actually... For a second, like, the way the camera didn't, like, switch, for a second I thought Agent 47, like, just dropped into, like, a fucking ravine. And I was like, oh, bye. Um... Obviously, that wasn't the case. No. Hey? Okay. All right. Sure. I mean, it worked. Um, oh, can we take this to go to the deepest levels? Well, I think there's just camera here. Or, or, or not camera, a monitor. It's interesting. The camera is so close to us um, right now. Very. Access denied. Oh, interesting. Okay, so this must be the next tier. So we can't get into it. Even though I thought it was going up in tier as we went up. Perhaps this place isn't like built completely vertically like that. Um, I can't stand up here. There's a, a decent amount of, not here obviously, but over there it seemed like there was enough room. Hmm. All right, so this is just behind that guy. So both of those places kind of connect to the same place. So I don't have to worry about like turning around and uh, seeing where we're going. Security protocol overruled. Yeah, so I guess if, if I had managed to follow that lady's instructions, we probably could have gotten um, a meeting with uh, with Royce uh, through that. Also, perhaps I should have stuck with um, perhaps I should have stuck with the uh, freaking oh, yeah. guy that we. Here, yeah, I know. Sorry, I know. I, I'm aware. Um, maybe if we stuck with that outfit that we we had, like the ICA board member, that would have been a better outfit to uh, to work with. Oh, camera watching? Access granted. No, there's not. There's no camera watching us. And the camera can't see shit. Am I allowed in here? Tier 2 security, which is great because these are... If we can find one of their outfits laying around like in a locker room, or if we can just deal with one of these guys of the armory. I'm allowed in here. Security protocol yeah. Overruled. I have tier 2 security, so I'm allowed in here, actually. Oh, damn. They got a shit ton of weapons. I mean, obviously, I don't want all of them, but what's this? Tier 3 access dongle. Thank you. Cool. I'm glad they just leave their shit just out like that. Where's the camera? There's camera. Camera's trained directly on the weapons. Uh, what are these? Uh, looks like grenades and... Oh, another. Is that a case? Um, yeah. I'll, I mean, I'll take it the, the case. Cool. Replace the one uh, that we had that had our gun in it. This is my case now. I hope you didn't think it was yours because it's mine. You got anything on your desk? Uh, that's for cameras that they saw us. Uh, it doesn't look like there's any goodies we can have. Uh, another Dr. Pop. Very nice looking Dr. Pop uh, thing. Toilets. We probably lure someone in here. I doubt there's just going to be like guard outfit laying around. Because uh, that would be too easy. We already got this one for free. I mean, I guess I did knock out a guy. I, no, the guy that we knocked out wasn't wearing this style of clothing. He was wearing... Um, uh, I think he was like one of the, the like chef guys. The data core. Oh, shit. We needed to come to the data core. Ha oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So... We'll need to come back here to hack the data core, so perhaps we should go deal with Hush. Uh, but we have this place kind of like taken care of, so we'll be able to come back here uh, and hack the data core, but we do need to um, 
Oh shit, you have to hack this every time. Security protocol overruled. I thought like once we hacked it like once, it would like just kind of work for us. But now we have to hack it every time. That's that's a little annoying, but it's fine. Uh, good to know like kind of how this area works. So that's another way to the data core. All right. Analysis office. Uh, that's yeah. That, that's the guy that we like vented through. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't. I wouldn't either. Like, like you said, you've only told her cat. You, you, you only told your cat, and all of a sudden she knows it. Seems a little sus, if you ask me. Um, was this where? No, I think Security I think I, I got turned around. Overruled. Yeah, I, I got turned around. I was. I, I think I wanted to go in that one. Uh, oh no, this is. I don't want to go. I don't want to climb all that again. We'll just go out the front door. It'll be fine. What I wanted to do is I wanted to go out the way. Um, that, that enforcer guy I wanted to uh, see where that would take me uh, and leave but we'll just we'll just go out the way we came in it's fine it's fine I, I don't want to turn around we're already here we're out uh, we know the code is zero one one eight I didn't forget even though I went and cooked lunch uh, and made quite a lot of food so it'll be dinner too and maybe more after that okay so let's let's get after hush um we have the all-seeing eyes we never I think if I lock onto this, this will be like, tell us where to go start all seeing eyes. Because uh, I am interested in those drones. I'm not sure where the drones will lead us, per se. Or if it's even like worth like trying to pursue. Um, like if it's going to lead us to Hush. Or it seems like that would lead us more to Royce than Hush. So maybe we should um, dress up as a homeless person. I don't remember where our outfit is. Drop Disguise. Let's see. Drop Disguise. Uh, if, yeah, if it's cowboy suit. Okay, so if I go straight, yeah, okay, I I recognize this place now. If we if we go around the corner, we'll hit that dumpster where we hid the homeless guy who was trying to get to uh, that meeting. Oh, I left my gun. I should have grabbed my gun while I was there. Damn it! I didn't even think about that. Well, that's fine. If we go back in that same way, I can grab my gun because now we can kind of. You, will people get mad at you if they see you change outfits? I mean that that guy's smoking, so might be fine. Oh, you're, nope, you're turning around. That's even better for me, because I have become homeless, unfortunately. Uh, let's go ahead and go back to our mission. And impulse control. How do we get there? Where the hell is it, actually? Find the interest. Oh, we found the home. We found the homeless shelter at one point. Um, it would have been before we got this outfit, right? So it's probably back here that we ran into. No, because I think. I think when we hit it, I was like, oh, damn, because we were just like the chef. So we would have already been past this point. Um, and I just have to remember where I, if I can recall my tracks, retrace my steps. That's not recalling my tracks. That's, I, I'm not sure that means anything specifically. Re retrace my steps. If I can do that, we can find where this homeless shelter is. Because we ran by, I think that's the ICA place that we went into. Oh, I think it's you. Hi. No, it's not nice you. Nice to see you. Nice to see you, too. Yeah, we, we saw each other earlier. I was in different clothes then, so I'm upset that you recognize me. I should deal with this guy. A little computer cafe right there. Is there anyone around? Because I want to go in. Anybody see me going in? If I just pop a lock? I'll just go ahead and pop a lock. I think if I use this lock pick, I think it sticks around. I don't think it just breaks after one. Um, yeah, we still have our Mark III lock pick. Am I allowed in here? Oh, arcade. We'll pick up a toy tank. Sure. We can throw that at someone. Soda. Yeah. Yeah, it's a little like computer. Oh, they have uh they have freedom fighters. We all we all love freedom fighters. Oh, are these are these screenshots of like uh, um like these two, I think these are from the DLC area um from uh from Hitman 2, Tentacle Twist 3, Super Chicken, Permadeath 2, another uh thing of Freedom Fighters. Freedom Fighters and Super Chicken pretty popular. Yeah, it's a nice little arcade. You can come over here and you can get snacks. Uh, oh shit, they got they got Ursa vodka. You can go to the you can go to the arcade and get hammered if you want. Wow. I actually I, I was gonna say I've never been to an arcade that does booze, but I, I guess there are arc, bar barcades. I think people call them. Also, I thought y'all guys would get mad at me for trying to get in here, but. You know they do experiments in there. Some supernatural brain shit. Supernatural brain shit? Give me a break. I heard it's some kind of reach out to the homeless, helping them to a better life. 
That's just pure fantasy. Have you met Hush? I have. He doesn't strike me as the bleeding heart type. Hmm, so the art. My money's definitely a supernatural branch. That's for sure. So the arcade funnels into whatever Hush's plan is, I guess. Uh, when the homeless like population is enough for him, you can like prey on the children, and I guess with the vodka there, you can be like, you know, you know, you can learn adults too. But also, like, if children are there, you could be like, oh, kids, I have an alcohol that you're not allowed to have. Would you like it? And then you like, you know, knock them out and then like bring them to your like, your your brain, your your supernatural brain shit like lab. Um, although we know it's not supernatural, it's just technology. You're just doing technology. Uh, to do your what is what is this hatch there's just a hatch on the floor but it's i'm guessing if we figured out wait what is this i don't think this is going to work because the code that we got was an ica thing oh wait it already has one in it, it already has one in it so i'm guessing it was zero one one eight i believe yeah i didn't think it'd be the same but let's go ahead and hit one and let me leave and the one stays there so i might have accidentally done that one that one might not be a um like a little hint I did like this little arcade, though. That was cool. Um, all right, so I don't think... I don't think I ran up that hill. So maybe the homeless shelter's this way? Because there was a guy who yelled at us, like, Hey, get out of here. You're not homeless. Um, but now we look the part, so, you know. Now he'll just have to accept that we're homeless, because this is where we came in. There's no way over there. I could push you. I don't want to push you, but... It's a, it, you know, the the dark desire, the craving to just shove someone. It's it's a big, like, I don't know. It's just funny. Just like, boop. And especially after we got that insanely good one uh, in Hitman 2 where, I, was it the guy who made the cocaine? I don't remember who it was. It was in that level, though, where um, where you, you push the guy. And before you push him, like, Agent 47, like, spins him around. Like, that was incredible. I love that. Um you're not looking. You don't see shit. It's fine. I just want to know where this door went in the, um, the arcade because it was like a little back room. Trespassing. I guess it's like manager's office kind of thing. The other screwdriver. We got three screwdrivers. Cool. Cool and good. Uh, we don't we don't know this unless this is also 018, which I don't think it is. No. No, no, no. What is this? Street guard. Uh, so we could use this to become guard uh, if we didn't. If we just wanted to go ahead and sneak in instead of doing like the homeless stuff. Pick up our K key. Oh, our K key was just right here. It was under the. Oh, it was it was hidden under the brick. I I understand now. I was like, why didn't I see that? It's because they hid it under the brick. Um, Jade Emperor Arcade. Yeah, I saw this from above, and I was thinking that the arcade might have been built into the um. Uh, the hotel apartment thing. What is this? A little electronic shop. I'm a trespassing. Oh, I guess because, like, the um, the shopkeeper doesn't let people go back there. No entry. And uh, is this, like, a real real no entry? Yeah, it's real no entry. Like, even Agent 47 saw that and was like, no, 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 no. That's no entry, dog. I'm not going back there. Okay, we saw the, some homeless people hanging out over here. That's where we got this outfit. So is the homeless shelter back here? Uh, there was those people who saw our homeless guy, and then he, like, kind of, like, antagonized them, like, unnecessarily. Uh... I mean, he was feeling himself, and now he's he's gonna be feeling a, a hammer or whatever the hell we we hit him in the head with uh, in the morning. Hmm. I'm not sure where this uh, homeless shelter is. Cause we're just kind of I'm I'm just kind of circling the drain here, um, with this area that we've been in. So maybe it would just be smarter to just go ahead and dress myself up as uh, a street guard and just fucking go for it. Is anyone looking? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I was about to see. Would anyone see me if I? Hi. Hello. Wanna, if I want, want, want to scooch in and give, I can give you a little smooch. That is too close, sir. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You know, not everyone's out here for a little smooch. Uh, not, not everybody's looking for love. Like agent, well, agent forty seven's not really. We, we, we know this. Um, this is the area. Oh, this is the area we came into. So this, that, if we had gone up at the very beginning level, this would have taken us up here. Okay, so I think I'm actually starting to, like, wrap my head around how this place is shaped. However, I still do not know where the, um, the homeless shelter is. 
So we definitely walked past it at some point. Uh, maybe it would just be best to dress up as a guard and go in. Uh, the homeless outfit will just get us, will, or will likely get us um, a meeting with Hush. So that could be useful. Instead of like wandering in there and then trying to uh, rope a dope him. Actually, you know what? Maybe it's time to uh, check the challenges. Yeah, let's let's check let's check the challenges because I think I think we're at a, a part where we um we kind of have an idea of what. Well, we don't know how we're gonna kill them, so maybe I shouldn't. Well, hmm. we we found our way to one of our targets, and we have two potential ways to get to our targets. Um, let's let's just look. Let's see if there's something fun. Um, uh, stick it to the man. Redacted. Redacted. Um. Eliminate Hush while he's using his deprivation chamber. Well, well, oh, I, I was going to say, well, we already knew that he was going to probably do some brain stuff, but deprivation chamber is not his thing. Overload Hush's brain with Johnny Mnemonic. Uh, that sounds like a good one. Big bada boom. Uh, eliminate Hush in, in one explosion, so we can probably call them together for a meeting. I'm guessing maybe that's the drone one. Uh, if we did something with the drones, they would have to meet up. Uh, shock to the system. Oh, execution. You know, that's always fun. Cooling down. By drowning her in the core's coolant. That's how Royce is going to go. I've decided. Uh, yeah, single sniper rifle. It's shooting someone with a sing two people sing single. Shooting two people with a single bullet from a sniper rifle is pretty cool. Medium rare. Um, eliminate a Royce by having an employee start the core cleansing. I think that would. Because we want to. No, we want to hack the, the, the data core. We don't want to destroy it. So it's like, I think that would do both of our things at once. Okay, but we're going to overload his brain. So I think to overload his brain, I'm guessing that we're going to have to beat him in like a, um, like some kind of QTE, like we're both doing the brain thing and we try to overload him. Like we try to like basically outsmart him with our brain. I saw the thing that said block, which I believe was pointing towards um, where this guy was trying to get to initially. This is, is this, this isn't the, the lady's room. Is this what I'm looking for? Am I allowed in here? I'm not allowed in here, so I'm leaving. There was a guy right there, but I think I think this might be the right way because there was a sign saying block this way. We are looking for block. Hmm. A little lost. Should I be climbing? Like, I didn't climb any of these because uh, I kept seeing them, and I was like, oh, I want to know what's up there. Uh, but we were kind of uh, following something. So we could just go in there. Don't, I don't think that's what we want to do, though. Could be a good way in, but we're kind of... What the hell is this uh, This homeless shelter? Is it on the map? Is it marked on the map in any... Okay, yeah, because we, we've seen it. Arcade. Yeah, this is all the uh, ICA shit. Hmm... Well, he's just back down that way. Where have we, where have we not gone recently? Uh, I did run into it at some point. And I know if we go to the end of that... Were you? So this is a restricted area. No. No, that wasn't the homeless shelter. Because like we, we, we followed this guy around this bend. That was the lady that he harassed. Sorry that someone who was wearing my clothes uh, harassed you, ma'am. Uh, big apologies for that. It wasn't me though. You can tell that we're very different people, because you can see by the cut of my jib, I'm uh, I'm I'm this guy, the different guy. A lot of people don't notice that though. You think it's weird that they don't, but they don't. Uh, Do we go? I don't think we went. Oh, I was gonna say I don't think we went down before, but that's just just locked doors at all. It's someone just threw a gun in the fucking track. Scrap sword, yo, yo. This is this is the weapon. Um, I think it showed up. Um. Don't I have my case? Did I drop my case at some point? I did drop my case. Where the hell did I drop my case? What did I do? Oh, you know what? I bet I know where the case is. I bet I dropped it when I climbed the ladder. Because <laughs> um, I'm pretty sure we had it before then. Yeah, it was it was by the ladder that we that we uh, we climbed up. So this probably wasn't worth our time, uh, given that uh, we're probably not going to use a scrap sword to kill anyone. Since I would like to... Um, the, the whole, like, uh, overloading the brain and drowning in the coolant sounds fun. Although, I mean, maybe we could just kill Royce with a sword. Because, I mean, we've drowned people before. It's just like, ah, we're going to drown them in the coolant for 
you know, her cool, um, her cool and, um, her computer, the data core thing, you know, that, that'd be neat. Oh, there's a train. There's a different, is that the same train we came in? I'm not sure. So that one looked more like a passenger train, or we came in on a passenger train. That one, I didn't get a good look at it, but probably more of a freight train. I'm not sure. Welcome to the Yu Yuzong district. I think that's what, that, the way you'd pronounce that. Um, did we ever go down? Th yeah, the, the, going down here just takes us over here. Did I find the homeless shelter, like, earlier than I expected? Like, if we run over here, will someone be like, Hey, if you're homeless, clap your hands. Um, and I'm just completely, like, messed up where I thought we encountered that. Not exactly sure. No, because this takes us up to the laundromat. Which is just another way around. There wasn't anything off to the right. Um, damn, yeah, I don't know where we haven't been now uh, that isn't, like, a area that we wouldn't have been allowed in previously. Hmm. Guess I might just have to bumble around and see what I can find. I found it. Let's get you out of the rain, shall we? That thing that pointed us to the block. To frisk you first. There was just a door I needed to open. Uh, you need to frisk me? I think the only thing that I have is illegal is my scrap sword. So I'll just, uh, I'm just going to drop this over here. Now you can frisk me. Sup? Sir, I will have to check you if you want to pass, okay? Well, I was like, did we skip the frisk by walking outside? Because okay. he just Thank continued you, onwards. Yes, this will be over in no time. What's that over there? Is that a body? Good. Follow me. You're clean and good to go. Sorry. Sorry. Don't get me wrong, but I hope we never meet again. Oh, all right. Shit. It's a homeless shelter. I'll probably be by the front. What's that smell? It's you. How can you stand it? Your clothes are so filthy, I can literally taste the stench. When did you last change your outfit? Seriously. I change my clothes all the time. Yeah, you I bet you do. It's in there. Go take a seat. They'll get you and the other guys through the sign-up. All right, cool. We got a little kitchen area. Hi. Hello. Would you excuse me? Oh, so Hush likes the last one I sent up to the top floor. He'll be the one to conclude this phase. I knew Hush would be pleased with him. He signed up for the full package. Strong, too, all things considered. I'll wrap up down here. Thanks, Jun Lee. I was just informed that we don't need any more test subjects tonight. I don't understand. There's no work? Oh, no, there will be more to come. Depending on the results of the conclusion to this test phase, Come back tomorrow, and we'll schedule a new spot for you. Ah, uh, we'll schedule a new spot. Can I sit in there? Can I sit down? Come in and take a seat. Oh, why, why are we doing I'm sorry this? sorry to inform you that we have all the test subjects we'll need for tonight. But you're welcome to fill in your information now and come back tomorrow. A guard is waiting outside the door. He'll escort you out of the building when you're done. Help yourself to an apple. Be in trouble. I do need my vitamins. I already took the apple. I'll take another one though if you will let me. Okay, so that's not gonna work for out for us. We'll take more information. Let's uh let's retrieve hammer. How are you today, sir? I'm good. Oh, you're not gonna escort me back? I need to get you the building. The subject out Come on. The building now. Understood. Oh, he had some kind of like thing he had to do before he could like come back to me. Uh, let's go okay. ahead and close this door. Follow me. Can't close the door. Pick that up, pick that up. Hope no one's coming. Uh, let's go ahead and get this body a dragon. Where are we going to put this body? I kind of did that without thinking about where I'd put this. Because uh, we can't go downstairs. There doesn't seem to be a place to... Hmm. Doesn't seem to be a place to put this body. Not exactly sure. Don't want, Well, I was going to say we don't want to go downstairs. But I can just take that guy out and probably just hide him back there. Um... There is a, uh, a hallway, a like thing over there. We might be able to um, do something with that. We'll just leave you here. I don't know if anyone will come back here. Uh, hey, it's me. I know you didn't never wanted to see me again. Huh? Uh, do you have a place to hide a body? Okay. I don't think you have a place to hide a body. Hmm. Well, why am I trespassing? I didn't want to take his clothes, but that's fine. 
Didn't want to take his clothes, but it works. Let's go ahead and get Dragon. We're just going to leave. I guess we'll leave these guys here in the hallway and hope nobody comes by. I guess that's an option. I wish there was like a little nook we could just kind of shuffle them off in. Like, I suppose I'll put them right about here because I don't think this isn't street level. Yeah, it'll it'll be fine. I um, already have your disguise. Did I leave anything over here? No, it's just my outfit. Yeah, all right, it's not the best place. Um, we'll just hope for the best because we can probably open this door now. I'll unlock. Is anybody looking? Nobody's looking, so we'll just go ahead and unlock it. Yeah, because if I could close that door... Um, oh, I'm trespassing. I'm not allowed up here. Hmm. Oh, shit, someone grabbed my suitcase. Damn it, I have my sword in there. I was going to go back for that. Ah, uh, well. Briefcase stashed. All right, well, I mean, that's... Not really my problem. Um, yeah, what's back here? Because there's the scientist lady. There's uh, some guards over there. I know. I'm just tired. Yeah, me too. Um, hmm. Okay, so that doesn't seem like the way we want to go. Uh, fire extinguisher. I guess we could take that. It doesn't hurt. Because we can't put that away. Well, I'd buy. Security's tight today. I can't let any of you guards through here. Can't let any of you gods through here. Yeah, I don't I don't believe in the divine powers, so get out of here, mister. Yeah, okay, he's not gonna let us buy, so we'll need a different outfit. Uh, where does this drop us off? What is this place? Oh, this is the, uh, the arcade. We, we've looped back around, okay. So I guess the arc, arcade is, like, like I was saying, they probably funnel in people through the arcade as well. Well, there's two bot. Is that a bust of a little cowboy man? There's a little bust of us when we came into the level. Cool. Um, okay, well, there's two guys. There's two guys here. Two guys is the appropriate amount of guys that I can handle uh, at once. Uh, not <laughs> humble brag. Um, but we'll go ahead and just, I guess, I guess we'll get in. This isn't like a good, or I, I guess, here, wait. Before I do this a stupid way, let's oh. see if I can, okay. see if I can do this. Hey, please don't leave any of your belongings unattended, sir. Is anyone going to come over here? If I pick this up and then I like, oh, if if I pick that up, um, it's gonna disconnect from the Hitman server. That's what's gonna happen. What if I make a like a a commotion? What if I go? No, they didn't care. What if I throw it better? What if I go like? Say what? Okay, so that. Central, we got some nut job flinging all kinds of crap at me. Hold on. Is that going to call reinforcements? Okay, so he's going to go check. So let's pull out a hammer. So crime noticed. Uh, let's pull out another thing. What's he going to do? I'm not Man, sure. You read me. Over. Oh, shit. Engaging? Oh, well, I guess engaging is done. Um... All right, engaging's done. That's I see. I didn't want to do it that way, because I didn't want. Uh, he reached down. I was worried he was gonna snap his neck. I didn't want him to be a. Um, see, now that he's orange like this, we won't get like the silent assassin thing, which I didn't want to lose. It's not that important to me, but you know, it's a shame. So we'll just come back here, because I don't think anyone's gonna come over here. Uh, we'll just hope for it. We'll just drag him down. Could take him. I could take him real far. I'll go ahead and drop you. I'll go ahead and strip you of your clothes. Not that I want to be caught dragging um, this guy around uh, in this outfit, but I would rather um, the other guy be um, be naked because I think once they become naked, even once they get up, they could potentially, I think, run around the level and be like, hey, it's you. But I think it's more likely for someone naked to kind of shuffle off somewhere else. I'm not sure if they can become reclothed or not. I don't think they can. I'm not sure if that's a question I have ever answered in any of these games. Because, uh, you know, it's been... I played these games over... I think I started in, like, 2018. Cause I think I started playing Hitman 1 when 2 came out. I, I think. I don't think it was 2017. I think it was 18. might have been 19. Uh, could be incorrect. I'm not sure. What's this? Blend in his block guard. Um, is this dude just straight up asleep? Dude's straight sleeping. There's an enforcer over there. A little hole in the wall because it's a derelict apartment, like they said. Uh, is that cigar box? Sure, I'll take cigar box. More things to throw, the better. 
There's another enforcer over there. I assume we're making our way to Hush, right? Let me check the map. Because Hush is... Yeah, Hush is on level 5. So we want to go up. Going up is good. So I assume we can just kind of make our way around. Me too. Yeah, that last guy would have shut up about me for an hour. <laughs> what are the experiments? Ah, that's the place. That guy over here stuff, but I don't know. Okay, so those guys are just talking about, like, hey, it's kind of weird that this dude's doing, like, brain control shit. And they're like, eh, whatever, it's not brain control. It's totally different. He's just using a machine to send information into their mind. It's different, okay? God, be normal about it. Don't make, don't make it sound like he's doing evil science or something. It'd be ridiculous. Um, we're just going to go ahead. You know, we just need a way up. I don't really care how we get up. Uh, we've lost our friend Briefcase, so we might as well just do this uh, the this way. I like that I worked I worked so hard to get into this place with the um Can I not get into that window? Yeah, there we go, climb through. That's what I was looking for. Worked so hard to get into this place with the um the homeless outfit, because I thought that might help us, and then just didn't use it. easy. I grew up in... What the hell? I don't know. I, I don't remember. What is this? Please stay calm. Have a little break and we'll pick this up in a few minutes. I just read the design dog for the next test phase. Hush really is brilliant. Retargeting the motor impulse control to memory recollection. If it works, Play the subject's emotions like a piano. Yes, he's creating the perfect primer for rewiring preferences. We're making history. What? Why would you want to do that if you're not doing evil science? Like, I mean, obviously, you know, they're just like, yeah, whatever. We're evil scientists. We're into it. It's fine. Um, and all, all right, yeah. Like, clearly, the homeless like angle wasn't going to work because we we showed up and they were like, no, we don't need anyone else because they got this guy who's got a big ass headache uh, and it's making him forget his entire life. We can. Disguise ourselves as a researcher. Uh, we'll, of course, get some rat poison because I used mine earlier. Researcher might be useful. Might create more um, uh, enforcers, but that's fine. Not too worried because I feel like in, uh, researcher is going to be the, th the thing to get us close to, um, to Hush not being a guard. Uh, there's a code here. I'm guessing if I check the map. Yeah, right behind us is stairs. So I'm guessing we would need... Uh, the code to get into that staircase um, or is there just is there pipe is there pipe we could use maybe we just climb pipe who needs who needs codes we'll just we'll just like you know just climb our way in is there anyone here who will see oh these these guys are both enforcers but it could be because we're in hostile areas right now um, and not because like it's just you know we're, we're shit out of luck I think it might be better to come over here. We can see Hush in his little chair. We'll just go ahead and... Can we... Can we do anything? Can we not... Like... Uh, can he, I, I mean, I guess it'd be difficult to, like... Through, like, core strength alone, like... Yeet yourself up to that window. So perhaps this isn't a viable way to actually get in. 
Um, let's go ahead and keep moving, because I don't think he's going to look down. Okay, so maybe Pipe isn't our way in. Perhaps I, I, was, I was getting a little too impatient, thinking that Pipe would uh, be the answer to all of our problems. Pipe already got us up one floor, so Pipe, pipe has done its job. We're going to have to do this the correct way and figure out a code or something to open that door. There's something there. I, I just can't see it. Okay, I think that's enough for now. Or perhaps there's just another... Maybe, maybe, maybe we are gonna just kind of shenanigans our way upstairs. Oh no, this also has a code on it. We are upstairs, but uh, this needs a code. Unfortunately, we don't know the code. Um, this also needs code. Damn, I was getting excited because I was like, "Well, there's one over there," but no. Okay, let's go ahead and get down then. This isn't. This ain't gonna do it for us, unfortunately. Maybe we should go and just be like, hey, does anyone know the code of the doors? I forgot, because my... I, I accidentally huffed some of the forget brain stuff. Whoops. Uh, Butterfingers. Uh, can someone... Um, can someone rewire my brain to have the code in it? Uh, can someone just let, let me, like, talk to Hush? Uh, and we definitely won't have a battle of the minds or anything. Sabotage. Does sabotage free them? I don't want to kill this guy. Uh, so I am going to just make a quick save. So I'm not sure if Sabotage will free him or kill him. And it's like, he's going to come over. And he's going to check it out. Like, the guy stopped convulsing. Um, we don't have, like, a little skull by the map, so I don't think I killed him doing that. So I suppose this is just kind of a distraction then. Because it seems like he's resetting it. And we got like a point, like a, not a point, like one of the feet things popped up in the corner for doing it. Oh, if I do this, is this, is it like hard to like restart this? Should I just like put, oh no, he got it back up and going. <sighs> got it working. Okay, and the guy didn't die when we did that. Okay, so I'm just gonna leave it. Uh, okay, so that could be a good, um, a good uh, distraction thing if needed. Hopefully you'll just stay there because I'm going to run on by. Excuse me. Almost walked into camera. Where is the camera? Camera's right there. Do I have enough leeway to get by? Is there anything over there? There is nothing over there. All right. Well, we're on the top floor. Top floor? Top floor, baby. Level five. Identify defining moment. Prepare position. Point zero one seven. Link suggestion to defining moment. Execute. Ah, oh, my head. Where's the final test subject? Everything is ready to conclude the motor control phase of my experiment. He's in the bathroom. Having second thoughts about signing up. Make him come out. I'm trying. Oh, maybe it's good for you to have a bit of a break before you start the final experiment. I don't want to hear it. Get him out. Yo, where's the bathroom? Can you lead me to the bathroom? Yeah, if I can find the bathroom, I can pretend to be... Oh, no, it, it marked out on my map. Okay, cool. Uh, let's just come over here so he doesn't see me. Oh, come on. This is my chance. Doesn't feel it just feels wrong. Is what that is supposed to make me feel better? Because it doesn't. I don't want to do it. Why can't I just do it? Money like that will really change things. But don't worry, I got it for you, buddy. I'll take over. Let's go ahead and drag you. Perfect test subject. This is the perfect test subject. You can tell because he got an A in being a test subject. And luckily, uh, he's bald like us. Uh, and hush. Genius he may be, will not notice a change in ethnicity. He doesn't see color, you see, so it'll be it'll be perfectly fine. We're the perfect test subject. You can tell we got a barcode on the back of our head already. Is this how we um, overload his mind? Let's go ahead and I guess make a save. And that'd be really funny if we could do a bad job at this. And it's just like, oh, Agent Forty Seven is now like under my control. Whoops, you fucked up. I'm ready this to experiment. Oh, simple, great. beautiful. I'll let Sister Lay know to join us for the experiment then. Yeah, Sister Lay, let her know. I'll let back here. I don't think I'm allowed back here. No, I'm allowed back here. What's back here? What's crack lacking? Ooh, a letter opener. 
I don't think we're gonna get patted down again, so let's just go ahead and grab that. You're back. Get ready. He's ready for you, Hush. He looks strong. Good. A good specimen to conclude this phase. We'll get started when Sister Lay is here. Sister Lay, like, none? So, uh, wait for everyone to arrive. Uh, I like your suit jacket. So, Very bright pink. The test subject came to his senses, I see. Good. Sister Lay, yes. We're about to perform the final test of this project phase. I don't see anything we're supposed to sabotage before we start this. Sit down. Okay, I guess we'll just see what happens. One on one with Hush 47. Ready when you are. Make him hurt. Jun Li, let's start at 100% signal strength. No. I mean, no, there's no need. The subject is clean, cooperative. I was thinking 25% and then adjust if necessary. 60% is minimum. We'll get no motor control below, and I'm not wasting my time. But. 60. Log concluding experiment H109 initiated. Run calibration 60%. Signal strength 60% confirmed. H109 initiated. Load suggestion motor control 44.1. Execute. The signal's too low. Shh. I'm. <laughs> The signal's too weak. We'll get nothing like this. Go to 100%? It's not safe. You've been working too hard. With your condition, it can cause you real physical harm. It's safe. You're strong. You can overcome it. 100%. Do it. Log, continuing experiment, H109. Run calibration 100%. Signal strength 100% confirmed. H109 initiated. Good. All good to go. Identify impulse string. Load suggestion. Motor control. 44.1. Execute. It's too low. He's got... God damn it! Again. Nothing. He is a strong one. I can get to him. Just need to focus. Abort! You're going too far. No. He's on the verge to break him. Go higher. It'll kill him. It's already way beyond reasonable intensity. This subject is abnormally resistant. He's no match for Hush. No. Canceled. Oh, I got it. Canceled. Uh, pushing test too hard. Um, Sister Lay has been pushing Hush too hard and further than advisable, but his personal assistant has convinced him it's too dangerous. If testing is to proceed on a higher intensity, the assistant might need to be taken care of somehow. Okay, so I don't think we failed the mission. Then what shit ever came to be without pain? I am calling it quits, Hush. You need rest. Mm. Okay, okay. A short break. Uh I'll return with a clear head. God damn that assistant. If they'd up the signal, it will kill him. Stay here, okay? Don't even think about getting cold feet again, please. I'll stick around. Okay, so we gotta I, do something with her. I'm so glad you decided to go ahead with it. You know, you're gonna be a part of something truly amazing. There you are. He's a genius, Hush. And this is groundbreaking research. It's an honor, Ray. Really. Uh, but, um... He's under a lot of pressure these days, so if you could just go along with it, okay? Yeah, don't no problem. Don't try to resist the impulses he sends. I don't want him to exert himself. Can you do that? I'll just follow my impulses. Um, that's not, uh... Okay, good. Thanks. Okay, so let's uh, let's distract her. Okay, so I a few few things there. I like um, I wasn't sure what we'd have to do to uh, resist. So I like that Agent Forty Seven is just completely like, yeah, no, I'm just gonna fuck with you and then uh, resist it, no problem. 
Um, I did like uh, whenever he did the brain thing, it had like the bisexual lighting of the red and blue, but also it gave him the red light and us the blue light. So it was like good versus evil as well. Uh, pretty good. Let's see if she'll hear this. Huh? The world is not your dumb show, okay? Sorry. Sorry, ma'am. All right, let's go ahead and just hit you something because that'll knock you out quicker. Let's go ahead and put... I didn't want to drop it, but that's fine. Let's go ahead and drag her. I do have a safety save just in case someone heard that uh, and it comes a look in. Doesn't seem like anybody's coming, so it's perfectly fine. So we'll hide her. It's dumb body. Uh, so now she's taken care of, like, let, let's check the mission stories. Impulse control completed. So I think we're good. Impulse control was just to get to this point uh, and have this opportunity. Uh, how, how, did I drop three? Cro did I throw three crowbars at her? What the hell happened there? <laughs> I'm not sure, but all right. Well, whenever this guy comes back, I guess we'll destroy his brain this time. Uh, yeah, so that was that was fun. Just like uh, also like they immediately started bickering in front of like the test subject of like a hundred percent. No, you can't do that. Like you know, good, good. You know, just to argue in front of the the guy. Hey, what's up? You ready for the test? Also, you wear your pants a very very high hush. Maybe just a little bit. I'm going downstairs to Sister Lay to enjoy some competence. She understands the importance of what I'm trying to achieve. I understand too. Let's just do the test again. Please. I need space. So is it like test canceled like for good? Like he's not going to do it? Or is it like... Like is it telling me... I'm Okay, I'm not sure if it's telling me like the test is canceled for good. Excuse me, nothing's gonna happen. Um, or if uh, it's more like, uh... yeah, like I'm not sure if I just have to wait around for the Sir, next you test. Are not allowed to pass. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm not sure if it's like I just need to wait for the next like round of tests to begin. If like the dude will come back, if like it's just like, hey, it's canceled, it's not gonna happen anymore. So stop like asking about it. Um, I guess I'll, I could wait a little bit. I could try this again. Um, I could reload the save, uh, and try and take care of the lady before we do the test and maybe it'll be good. And it's just telling us like, oh, hey, better luck next time. Although the game normally doesn't work that way. Sorry, sir. I can't let you through, okay? Cause it does seem like we were gearing up to do the test again. So I'll just, I'll just wait for it. Let's look back here while we, we wait. Didn't really look back here. Um, that was this place. Oh, I'm not sure. Um, another crowbar. Sure, I could use a fourth crowbar to drop on the floor. Uh, I'm not sure what happened there. Like, maybe I was holding the crowbar, and because I was holding it, like, when I grabbed her, like, Agent 47 dropped it. Not exactly sure. Oh, he's coming back. Okay, maybe we didn't have to wait as long as I thought. All right. You need clearance to pass, and you don't have it, buddy. So, go away. No agents. Worth to anyone. Us. Where's Jun Li? Never mind her. I'll take over. Let's pick it up where we left off, Sister Lei. At the same signal strength. Yes, 100%. I feel strong. I can take him. <laughs> I can take him in this brain control thing, right? You can take him in brain control thing, right? Well, let's begin. Sit and keep still. Let's go. Continuing experiment, H109. Run calibration, 100%. Signal strength, 100% confirmed. H109 initiated. Now I'll see you do as I command. Identify impulse string. Load suggestion, motor control, 44.1. Exit. We need to go higher. Come on. Do this. Ugh. Damn it. You'll get nowhere like this. I uh, don't understand. No one's never resisted like this before. Let's increase the signal and get some results. What do you say, Hush? Do 120%. 120. Good. Let's do it. Continuing experiment, H109. Run calibration, 
120%. H109 continued. 120% signal strength confirmed. Yes. This is it. It's all incredibly sharp. I feel my mind expanding. Identify impulse trigger. Load suggestion. Motor control. 44.1. Execute. I... I feel power. I can see you. I'm not scared of you. I could... You got the bastard, Hush. Huh? Now go get Image of Noise and we can get to the core. Get Oh, there he is. We overloaded his brain. Easy sneezy. Oh, are you just here to kick me out? Like, oh, shit, the dude died. Well, uh, that's a shame. Let's get you out. Business as usual. I mean, I could leave myself. That's fine. I don't particularly want to be on the street. Le actually, wait. Can I Can I leave without? Actually, I'm going to leave without you because I don't want... Um... Here, you, you may have one of my crowbars. Oh, actually, maybe I should. Oh, yeah, I definitely shouldn't do this here. I was like, I don't want him to lead me out of the entire building. Because at a certain point, uh, we would run the risk of bumping into the people that I, I've knocked out previously. But we'll just continue with this guy. Uh, just walk along with him, and then we'll find... Because um, I think this is where I knocked out those... No, this isn't where... I don't want to be seen by the camera, though. I didn't want to be seen by the camera. Can I just... No, I shouldn't do that. Okay, fine. We'll, we'll be seen by the camera. That's a shame, but I mean, you know, we'll take the we'll take the negative points on that. Damn, because uh, yeah, now we're coming around here, and this is like the beginning of the level. So like, we walk down here, open the door after you, because like, if we keep walking down here, he's gonna see those bodies, but he'll never I see them. Or, he's he has seen them actually. He saw the bodies. He the body was found. I think I've been carrying a gun this entire time. Now I think about it, I'm gonna drag you over here. Um. Yeah, and uh, we actually, oh wait, I was going to say, like, oh, I don't really want to be in this outfit, like, running around, but we have this guy's outfit, and what outfit were we, were we wearing, homeless person? Uh, we'll take guard, I guess, maybe street guard would be better than, homeless person feels like it'd be less noticeable, uh, just, like, running around, and I, our briefcase did get stashed, I don't know exactly where it got stashed, okay, well, cool, we, we've done that, so we're going to go back to Royce now. Uh, since we'll, when we take out Royce, we'll be close to the data core. I mean, I guess, uh, excuse me, I guess in practice, what I did was pointless because I came back here because I was like, oh, this thing is right by where we're going to want to be. So perhaps we should just, um, we should just, uh, you know, do both of them at once. But I mean, we were already there. So uh, leaving and coming back maybe wasn't as efficient as I thought since we were already there. But oh, whatever. It, it's been done and I didn't consider it until now. What is that point right here? A blend in. I was like, oh, can we like leap over there? That'd be sick. But no, that's not what's happening there. Um, uh, facility analysis. Uh, this will let us back in. Since I left my um, my dumpling chef uh, outfit in the uh, in the facility when we swap. No, wait. No, I. I, I, I left Dumpling Chef in the ICA board member guy's uh, apartment. That that's where I left it. Uh, now where? was the ICA guy. I think it's back here. Yeah, because this building's a front for it. So if we come back here. Are we in? Yeah, hey, bro. Hey, bro. I wasn't sure if we were going to need to be, like, frisked or anything. Doesn't matter. We've already opened this. Or, well, I guess, uh, um, Miss, Miss Chen, I think her name was. Please she opened it for us. Line to security check. Thank you. Do I have to go through security check again, or can I just walk through this way? Because I... I'm the boss here. I mean, I'm not the boss, but... You know, I have, I have like, all the access I could ever... That takes us to street level. Can I go in through this way? Hey, what's up? Sir, I'm... Come get some... Come in! Anybody there? Nobody ever crime. No. Okay, okay, fine. We'll just we'll we'll not restart. Um, let's see. When was our last save? Um, 
Okay, it was like just seconds before that happened. Okay, that didn't work out the way I wanted it to. I didn't think that we would uh, we'd be stopped because there wasn't like a uh, check mark safety, like, hey, don't go past this point deal. So I thought it'd be good, uh, but I guess it wasn't. Um, like, here, we'll walk up and see what they say because I can always just drop my gun over here. In fact, I don't, I don't want this fucking gun. Am I holding out anything else illegal? I think I have multiple guns. I think those are the only illegal things I have. And I wasn't paying attention to where we started. But that's fine. Okay, what if I walk over here? Are you like, hey, don't come through here? Hey, how are you? I'm good, how are you? Sir, if you want to come through, I'm going to have to pat you down. Okay, yeah, they still had to do the frisk. There just wasn't the thing on the floor that said to be frisked, so I wasn't sure if it had to happen again. I mean, I guess it makes sense. It had to happen the other way, so why would this one be okay. an exception? No, sir. Thank you. Uh, but that was just me, like being because i was like oh they'll, they'll yell at me first they'll be fine uh but it wasn't fine um do i want one of these red guys we don't know what we want to do down here because I've, I've ruined the mission for down here i bet if we go to mission stories um yeah this one's ruined because the target was eliminated we need both of them emergency exit let's get out our camera oh uh because i'm super zoomed in from that picture i took okay uh we can't open the emergency exit we're right next to the we're, shit we're right next to the core we are here immediately, and we're allowed in. We are trespassing, we're not allowed in here. The data core. Are these people looking this way? Doesn't seem about looking this way. Someone's looking, who's seeing me? That guy. And there's a camera up there, and I don't have a gun to, to shoot that. Um, all right, so let's, let's just get the hell out of here. We shouldn't, we shouldn't be in here. Okay, so there's multiple ways into the data core. That's what was confusing me, because we were like suddenly in like a level like three area. Uh, that that that's what was getting me. Okay, so we're in level two now. Uh, what do we want to do? We want to get Royce down to her computer. So how do we do that? Um, do we get like a better outfit? I don't think we got a better outfit than this. I've just been running around as this analysis guy. Because uh, we come down here, and these guys will let me buy, right? This is a restricted area, and I can't let you through. Okay. No, I need an outfit to get by. That, that Just because I have clearance. I'm not supposed to have clearance because I've been stealing the clearance things. Um, Royce knew Vincent's girlfriend was breaking up with him before he did. She's spying on us. Okay, yeah, we, we heard the part of that outfit, or the outfit, that conversation before. She's, she's not in her room anymore. And that's the guy who was very, very rude to us earlier. He was like, I'll fucking kill you. Uh, have a nice day, or whatever the hell it was. Um... Hmm. So we want a new outfit. So we want to find, likely want to find one of these guards who's by themselves to some degree. Uh, let's go ahead and bust out camera. Is this the only thing we can hack over there? We can't distance hack though. Um, we can open this vent though. And I mean, I can open this. I can open everything I want. Security protocol overruled. And there's a body shoot, or not body shoot, but a thing I can hide a body in right there. I'm not allowed in here. And there's a camera right there that could have just recorded me. So let's go ahead and just, nope, nope, wrong one. Climb through. Uh, hostile area, we're not allowed. Oh, I think we saw the end of this, right? We, we came back here and probably hit a point where I wasn't able to unlock it while I was uh, moving through these uh, little uh, uh, pipes. Uh, this like vent area earlier. Why am I not? Okay, I got stuck there for a second. I wasn't sure what was happening. No, this is definitely a different vent area than we saw before. Uh, it seems bigger. Ah, oh, this this uh, super close camera is giving me a little bit of a headache, um, unfortunately. Let's hack the vent. Let's hack this vent, too. Just open up every single vent we see. Why not? Is there anyone in here? Nope, no one to see us. We're not allowed in this area, though. We're still in a hostile area. Oh, this is a vent that goes straight into the data core. That's cool. Oh, there's a bunch of guards that could see us. We're like in the cooling. Oh, this is, is no, this isn't the cool. This is just like a little bridge. Okay, interesting, interesting area. Uh, let's climb through. Cool little area. Um, not that useful to us at the moment. Could be a good way into the data core, maybe if we can get Royce down there, sneak up behind her, and then drown her in the coolant. Uh, if we still want to do that, uh, which is definitely way up on in our cards now that I lost my scrap sword. I suppose I could have looked around for our um. Our thingamajig. Oh, is that a... No, I saw a, like, a white, like, circular thing, and I thought, like, it's like a plate or something right here. 
it's like no it's not plate it's like the little like bundle of wires and i thought for a second it might be like an outfit that'd be good for us there is just one guard right here what is this chloroform flask cool there's just a single guard here right this one guy this one guy no there's there's two guys back there uh i they look over their shoulders but they can't see you and it keeps freaking me out um so i was like i could try and knock him out but i think if i try and knock him out it'll attract those two guys and it might cause a bit of a thing here wait can i yeah i'm actually gonna do the thing where we glue ourselves to the thing let's go ahead and throw a coin see if it gets one to come over here that was weird. You, take a look. Yes. and then we'll pull out um our cowboy bust and nobody heard anything good see that's 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 how you play a stealth game everything i just did was stealthy oh and cowboy bust came back to us hallelujah we we, we didn't want to live without our cowboy bust um i meant to drag him first as i always do always want to drag the coin got stuck in the wall wow a lot of uh, bad miracles happening that's perfectly fine we'll go ahead and pick up my coin too and i'll pick up uh the ica smg raptor go ahead and put that on our back uh, i don't particularly want it uh, but I suppose it couldn't hurt to have a uh, camera. Sargar box, camera. Where did camera go? I feel like the camera's probably directly behind me and or I, yeah, I've definitely passed. Yeah, it was, I just direct, definitely just immediately Security passed it. Sure. That's also an option. Uh, where the hell's Royce? Uh, there's Royce. Looks like she's a floor above us. What is this? I already have that. Maintenance are working like magic. So much faster than the previous system. I wish I had Sharon's job. It looks so cool when she runs the core maintenance. Like fireworks. Sure, but scary too. That kind of tech makes me cringe a bit. Can't help but imagine it weaponized. Put on huge trucks moving through the streets. You know, terminating all biological life. Wow. That's dark. <laughs> Maybe lay off on the sci-fi a bit. Nah. I kind of enjoy the thought a little too. Damn. A lot of evil scientists they were able to recruit. Oh, another screwdriver. Thank you. I could have thrown the screwdriver. Academy, huh? Yeah. I could have thrown that screwdriver into like someone's head and like just dealt with them immediately. Uh, I should look for the Dr. Pop. That'd help me find these. I'm glad that all these events are just opening and people like don't notice or care that much oh there's a enforcer well, not walking towards us area discovered the core control room this is the kind of shit we want because if we get the core control room we can probably like Security heat it up overruled. um we can either heat it up or do something that will make do the like cleansing thing uh, uh cleanse safety mechanism enabled so we just need to find the safety mechanism first and disable it uh, also like now that we've like dealt with this like that lady is um uh that lady is um oops i almost walked into the camera that lady's like no one will see if we like try to take her out oh uh, is there a body shoot anywhere i guess not. i keep saying shoot but i'm i really mean just like a closet to throw them in um uh yeah we need to find um the safety mechanism well the safety mechanism is for the cleanse Cleanse isn't exact. Oh, is that guy just gonna chill right there? Yeah, that guy's just chilling right there. That this dude's job is to stay. Oh, there's a there's a body thing. Um, I do have a gun, but it's a loud gun. If I had a silenced gun, that'd be an option for disabling this camera. Because as we learn, none of the things I can throw seem to uh, take it out. Um, I should use this banana. I'll throw a banana at someone. See what happens. Because if I can, if I could deal with the. I wonder if I could. I wonder if I could fire off a bullet. And people are like, well, what's that? I think if I fire off the bullet, um, if I fire off a bullet, I think what will happen is it won't be like, um, it won't be like, um, what am I trying to say? It won't be like, uh, like, oh, oh, I have to investigate that. I think it'll be like target lockdown. Gunshot heard, went into searching. Let's see, where's the target? Target is chilling. So they're searching for the gunshot. 
but it seems like things are returning to normal. They're still searching. Uh, that guy was an enforcer. So we'll just go ahead and get in this corner. Talk to me. Can you look more suspicious? Yes. And I'm gone, just like that. I probably should have come in here in the first place. Will they eventually... They, they'll probably eventually stop searching, right? Because, I mean, if we do this, then I can drop both those guys' bodies and that, um... The guard that stands right there and uh, that the scientist person, we can drop their bodies in the thing. I'm guessing firing off a gunshot's going to be an extended search, so I'm just going to wait for it to stop. If it doesn't, I'll just revert my save, I guess. Oh, the search went away. Oh, that, that was actually quicker than I thought. I just need to wait for this guard to walk by. Okay, cool. So I fired off some bullets and uh, very little consequence for us, which is good. And that guy is walking away. What is this right here? What does this do? Turn off fuse box. I'm guessing that would shut like some kind of gate of some sort. Uh, is this scientist still here? The scientist is still here. Let's throw a banana at you. Ooh. Does that knock you out? No, it didn't knock you out. No, not that one. That one will. That one will kill. Pacify. 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 Pacified. Okay, so now we can. Oh, I can't. I can't put on this outfit. Well, that's fine. We want to get this person out of the way. That's fine. Just because I can't wear the outfit doesn't mean knocking them out was a waste of my time. Doesn't seem like anyone's coming from any direction. There's someone coming that way that could be a problem, but I think we're quick enough to drop this. This does, well, we can still use that. We can hide in this while there's a body. But once we put this guy in here, if this guy wants to, is there anyone close to this dude actually? There's a scientist right there so maybe i don't want to knock out this guy oh actually you know what i do want to knock out this guy we'll throw uh an apricot I'll just like whoop please stand back i'll check it out oh that was cool that he told the other person like hey you know i'll i'll i'll, I'll figure it out and i'll throw this cowboy bust at this guy hey We'll go ahead and drag you, and I'm going to hit the drag button, and none of the wrong buttons. All the correct buttons being hit. Put that away, and we'll go ahead and take care of your... Uh, there's a little bit of blood there. Um, actually, there's a lot more blood over here. Um, yeah. So now I'm going to by. Cool. I'm not sure if we really need to come this way, because I'm looking for... What does this do? Unplug server rack? I think that would just piss this person off. I don't think that would be useful to our, uh, our grand scheme of... Uh, of trying to figure out how to um, uh, drown Royce Security in the coolant. Protocol. Or even get close to Royce, really, at this point. Uh, I think we could pro- Well, oh shit, I got seen by a camera. Well, it's fine. I was already seen by one camera. What's Access the problem with being seen by another? We'll just stand here. Hack some vents. Is there another one to hack over here? Nope. Okay, well, we can go through this. Are we allowed back? Oh. Well, Royce is here. You still have to take care of Image and Royce before we can access the Core 47. Oh, is this the safety mechanism? Um, you know, I wanted to drown her in the thing, but maybe it's just worth it to uh, to just melt her. And I've been seen by camera, so like, maybe it's not a problem that the camera sees us again instead of firing another. No, we've we've already shot one gun. What's another? Is anybody seeing us? No one's seeing us. Let's we'll go ahead and wait. Is that the camera? There's the camera. We'll just go give it a little, a little pop. And people didn't hear that. Disable the safety mechanism. Okay, cool. Um, I probably want to get rid of her guard because if I don't get rid of her guard, then um, she'll. Uh, if I don't get rid of her guard, you know, the guard will die along with her, and I don't particularly want to kill the guard. Like it wouldn't hurt too much if I killed the guard. Um, how the hell did she get upstairs? Um, like, it'd just be negative points, and I've already been seen by cameras, and I uh, very frankly don't feel like going to find where the, the thing to uh, turn off the safety is. Uh, that feels like a little bit more work than I want to do. And those rumors make no sense. Paranoid shit. He's deliberately planting disinformation. I have a good feeling about the demonstration. Hey! Bodyguard. What's his problem? Yeah, come here. 
Yeah. Why you listen to me? Are you he's dead? suspicious. He's following us. I don't really have a good place to hide his body, but he's going to follow us. He's going to keep following us. I, I don't know how long he'll follow us before he's like, hey, no. That's how far he'll go before he gets pissed off. Target went on the lockdown. Okay. That, that, that was a shame. Okay, that, so that, that isn't a good strategy. I, I, I guess I would gotten a little too comfortable with the strategy of walk up to them and just kind of lead them away. Because that's not very, that's anti-sneaky. Um, <laughs> I mean, to be fair, I was doing it to save that man's life. Uh, so, I mean, really, you got you to gotta think about um, that guy's going to walk away. All right, so I want to deal with the bodyguard. Um, gunshot heard. That's not exactly what I wanted, but that's fine, because there's an enforcer. I think this enforcer is the enforcer I want, so it's kind of... Let's see if we can do it this time. Like, like... Okay, suspicious. I'm, su or, I'm suspicious. Excuse, excuse me. He's going to search for me, so he's coming after me. Um, let's see. Where can I lead him? Will he... Yeah, I know you're not gonna fucking tell me again. That's fine, because I'm gonna... That work? Okay, so it worked that time. I think this was her guard, because this guy was an enforcer. Uh, I could be wrong. Um, that was a dumb way to do it. So I imagine, that, like, I can just look at the map now. Let's go ahead and pick up the gun, so it's not laying around. Put his dongle, let's put this away. Wait, what was the dongle we picked up? I think we had picked up one of those dongles before. And she made it back to her office. Yeah, the safety's off. We can search the data. Um, this is enable. No, we don't want to enable. We want it disabled. Uh, so I think we just wait for her to walk by and then just roast her alive, right? Like, that's that's the answer? It seems like it'd be the answer. Like, let, let, let's look. If I look on the map. I can see her. Is she moving? No, she's chilling. She seems to be in her office alone. Doesn't look like she has any guards. I suppose it's just up here, so I can run up there and just, just see how she's going instead of just sitting there and waiting for her. And once we're kind of sure that our <laughs> stupid plan worked, um, where else she go? She's over here. Am I allowed to go in here? Glad you're on our side. Yeah. Yeah, I'm allowed in here with her. What's this? Uh, turn off frosted glass. Uh, so we could just like whack her with a robot arm, call it a day. Um, I'll pick up your tablet. That's mine now. I'm glad she doesn't mind that we're here. We can use the terminal. I'm going to use it. Um, we can just fire people. That's incredible. Wow, she, she's just got a button to fire people. That rules. Um, I wonder what happens if you fire people. Oh, sure, you ignore me now, Hush. But soon you'll be my bitch. I mean, he's the brain control guy. I wouldn't want to fuck with the brain control guy. She just has a big... of big data analysis and micro-targeted surveillance of defining target markers. Yeah, yeah, that's a better phrasing. I do like that she just she just has big buttons in her office that just fire people. I'm gonna push one. I'm I'm gonna push one. I, I gotta know. Let, let's just go for it. Uh, who are we gonna fire? We can fire Jeremy Bolt, Sharon Reed. Uh, we'll go ahead and fire um, Jeremy Bolt because he's a guard. Who cares? X guard. I'm gonna fire everyone. Who cares? Oh, it's it locked down. Well, I fired someone. That's fine. Let me out. Where's she going? She's going to the room. Uh, how do I get to the place I want to be in? Oh, geez. I forgot how to get to the place I want to be in. Yeah, I know. You don't feel comfortable about Royce knowing stuff. Yeah. How could she do it? All this weird surveillance tech that we have. Uh, you know, who could say? Yeah, I like to see me too. I, I mean, I guess maybe that guy was looking for a smooch. Maybe we could smooch that guy. Uh, okay, she's in the room. Where the hell is the place I want to be in? I think I just need to go farther around this corner. Yeah, I need to go farther around this corner. This is his hallway. Hopefully she stays in there long enough and doesn't leave. Yeah, she's still in there. Let's let's get her ass. Both targets down. Good. Just give me a second. And I'm in. You can now access the core 47. 
and nobody noticed that either and since i think the only people who go in there are her guards that are her guard no one's gonna notice so we're about to get the hell out wait am i not allowed in oh do i have to like push a button to be like oh the, the thing ended so i have to hack that data core i got i got oh someone found the body how'd they get in do i gotta push another button yeah someone found the body um, oh, hey, it's that lady. That was the lady from the beginning <laughs> who I couldn't could not fucking find her um, But she, she found her way in but that's fine cuz I hope that when we walk in there. She's dragging hey, I was hoping that she would drag the body out herself and not um good. You're alone I'm sealing the room and dimming windows 47. Thank you. No need to worry about intruders I'm just going to dump it I mean, she, her body was already found, uh, but that's fine. Get out of here. Oh, maybe that's the coolant. We would have drowned her in the coolant by pushing her. I see. I understand now. Well, we used the we used the burn thing. That was cooler. I don't know how many people we've got to emulate, so it was worth it. Clients, operatives, every hit the ICA ever sanctioned. Enough to shut them down for good. But first you need to locate all files referencing Diana and yourself. Do I? I mean, we can just throw that out there. Who cares? I guess we don't want it. Let's search. at you I don't know I get why you want to protect her so if I follow the data referring to the two of you from their system before we publish the rest okay good I've set up a link to an information nonprofit site when you press that button, it's up there and the whole world will know. There's no undo 47. This will shut the ICA down for good. You really okay with this? It's who you've been for so long. Oh, it's whatever. I'll find something new. Get a new number. Maybe it's time for a change. I'll just return things to normal. No need to alert them we were here prematurely. Detected. Shit! I missed that. We're blown for something. I can hold the doors for a little while. Use the fence to get out. Go now. It's a good thing I've been cracking open vents at every every uh, opportunity I've gotten. That means they'll shoot on sight. I'm gonna create some havoc, 47. Make the core meltdown. Maybe we'll divert their attention a bit. Warning. Core overheating. Yeah, okay, so, I mean, us cracking open every vent became very useful in the in the end. A fire? Who, whose fault could have that been? I mean, obviously, Olivia just said that she did that. But we did just cleanse the core. Like, it seemed to be a thing that it did. That's an insane thing that they can do to their computer, seeing as they have a bunch of coolant surrounding it. All personnel, breach protocol initiated. Well, we'll just change outfits. All um, gun, 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 gun. Need to go. Drop gun, G gun, gun. Yeah. yeah, they're gonna shoot on sight. Um, so I do need to find a different vent out. Maybe I should have brought gun. Uh, oh, that vent's on fire. Maybe I should have brought gun so we could use gun to uh, shoot our way out of a problem if we get into one. Because we do need to locate the exit. Uh, guards are gonna shoot us if they see us. We'll unplug this while we're here. Why not? 
Uh, it doesn't look like we can go this way. So where, where are we supposed to... Hmm. They're seeing me. I do not want to be seen. Do not perceive me, please. Please do not perceive me. Um, how are we going to get out? Because I had that one open, that one vent open. Is there another vent that I overlooked? What's this over here? Wrench? Sure. Uh, we go to the data core. Should I just knock those guys out? Because uh, it doesn't look like we have more to go through this way, right? Because... Yeah, this was a dead end. The other way was on fire. I don't think there was a turn that I missed. Excuse me. Um, hmm. Well, it's all right. We can. We've we've lost so many points, and I've taken so long in this level, anyways, that I'm sure you know. Just. One, oh, there's actually a bunch of guards. I was gonna say one more, a uh, little little uh, little trick to perform probably wouldn't hurt that bad. So how are we supposed to get out of here without um without being seen? Because I assume that it's possible to get out of this level. I'm never being seen, like there's no way that they were just like, no, you have to be seen in this level um, for this one specific, but we're surrounded by guards and I've, oh, there's a there's a vent, okay. I, I just did not see this vent. Okay, let's get out of here. Can I climb up? Okay, no, that pipe's not tall enough. I was like, I saw a ladder, but I was like, but what about pipe? Uh, but no, that was not our answer. And we'll just pop through here. And I assume eventually we'll hit a point where we're like kind of just allowed to leave. Oh, this is into her office. Oh, uh, there's guards coming that way. Oh, guards coming that way. Oh, that, that, one's, that exit's locked. What exits do we even have on our map? Um, exits. Okay, so this exit. The one electronic store. Oh, that was the spot where I was like, oh, that's like, it was like, um, like a freaking, uh, like it was, it, it was like no entry, but I guess it, you know, yes, it's no entry because yes, exit, I, I suppose. And I, oh, we, we can go out this way, but I don't particularly want to climb up that. Oh, I think we have to take this way out, actually. We probably don't have to take this way out, but like the way I would have taken it out, um, I think maybe is blocked off. So we'll just go ahead and climb. We're in a hostile area. I can't climb any, oh yeah. I was like, I can't climb any faster than I'm climbing, especially because I hit the end of the climbing spot. Cause I think if I hold the run button, it's not like he's gonna like shimmy any quicker or anything. All right, because uh, this level is pretty cool. Um, I like the verticality of it. And like, there's basically like you know, three different, like, I mean, th this isn't like new to this game, but, or, or you know, th this one specifically. Um, but there were like three different sections to this area. You know, there's the city, there's the uh, the brain apartment, brain crime apartment place. There's, you know, the ICA uh, facility. It's a very interesting level. 47. Yeah, it was tense. Um, so I thought, I thought that was really cool. I really enjoyed this one. thought it was neat. Um, this, this will be a definitely an interesting level for uh, escalations and stuff. So, because I guess, like, you know, they've made... Um, oh, I guess we'll just get back on the train. I, th I think that's where this is leading us, right? Yep. Well, yeah, we'll just get back on the train. Why not? Um, you know, they've made so many of these games at this point. You know, this being the third one of this iteration of Hitman. You know, they've come up with other levels, so they're coming up with, like, kind of, like, weird levels, I suppose, uh, to kind of, like, come up with things that hadn't already been in the game since we, you can just go back to past levels in it. Uh, so I thought that one was really cool. Uh, um, I still don't exactly know why we uh, decided to whistleblow the ICA, uh, how that's going to help us get to the constant, but I suppose that'll be explained, and was already explained, but I just didn't, I, it, it didn't connect in my brain. Oh, and I was about to stop talking, like I always do, um, even though uh, I should know at this point, you know, Agent 47 is going to get away, and then it's going to, like, here's your points before we go into the next cutscene. What does it say? Nexus 47. I'm not sure why we're bringing up the Nexus of Torment. Eliminate Hush. Yeah, we, we, we killed some people. And we, we got a decent amount of these, I think. Because um, we, we got a lot of, like, outfits and shit. Uh, oh yeah, we, we got a ton of these like little feats. Uh, I feel like we normally don't get this many, which maybe I just haven't been swapping outfits as much as I no normally do. Oh, did I not get mnemonic? Oh, did we not overload his brain like I wanted to? Um, shoot, I thought we overloaded his brain. <laughs> One star. Yeah, that's that's pretty fair. Um, to be fair, very very fair uh, to just be like, yeah, that's 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 a that was a one star job on my part. Sorry, everybody. And yeah, that's just giving us points. Uh, we can start in a corridor. 
Uh, we have a hidden stash. Uh, ooh, a key, electronic key hacker. That'd be, that'd be useful. Proximity con- Oh, I forgot about our duck, damn it. I brought that duck, never used it. I, I guess that's nothing new with how I end up playing a lot of these. Whoops. Shell causing shockwaves across the world. The so called ICA files. The disclosure of a. You win. So. What happens now? The ball's in your court, Miss Burnwood. I do have other candidates, you know. Most of whom have never tied me to a chair. You've seen the news. That was 47 acting on his own. He is untethered. He is unstoppable, and he cannot be bargained with. He will find you, Mr. Edwards, and I'm the only chance you've got. I'm listening. 47 has one weakness. Me. Uh-oh, Diana's gonna lure us into a trap. The farewell, uh-oh. Uh, I wonder if this game is going to uh, muse some potential plot points from previous Hitman games. Oh, boy. Uh, what, a, what a time to disconnect. I wonder if it's going to use potential plot points from other Hitman games, which I would just state outright. I guess I could, because um, it's not su like it's a spoiler for a different game, and I don't know how this game's going to go. So I'm just going to go ahead and say it, because I think this is a spoiler for the original Hitman 2, not 2018. But at some point, um, Agent 47, like, fakes his death, and then, like, you get, like, you, like, he fakes his death, and then, like, they throw him a funeral, and you get to get up at your funeral and just fucking gun down, like, like, the people that you wanted to kill or some shit. I don't re really remember the plot of that game that well, uh, and it's fucking sick. And I wonder if that's gonna go down with this game to some degree, uh, if, like, we're gonna get caught in her trap, uh, and perhaps, like... Her trap, like, or perhaps, you know, she's double agenting, like I uh, uh, posited last time. Like, she's trying to play the constant um, into kind of falling into our hands. Not exactly sure. Or if she's, like, full on and, like, well, fuck 47 to kill my parents. I mean, I, I guess at some point we'll get a, a conversation between the two and we'll, we'll find out. Uh, so, yeah, that level's really cool. I liked uh, Chan King. Uh, very neat level. I bet there'll be cool escalations uh, and see what they do with, I assume there'll be one of the seven deadly sins levels here. Um, so yeah, that was it for the episode. On the next time, we're going to get the farewell. I actually don't know how long the, uh, the campaign in this game is, um, because this will be like the fourth new, the fourth like mission for us. I don't know if it'll be like five missions, six missions, seven. I have no idea. Maybe it's just four. Who could say? I have no clue because I'm trying to think, uh, because that is all the levels that I knew about because like, this was the one that I could think of off the top of my head. Um, and I'm trying to think, is there anything? Yeah, they, uh, I remember the Neon City. Because uh, early on in this LP, I was like trying to think of levels I knew about in this game. And I was like, oh, there's like a Neon City of some sort. And I assumed that was Berlin for some reason, even though Berlin would probably be like dark and kind of like foggy um, just to play into that. Like, oh, it's a European city kind of deal um, instead of like Neon. But I have no clue what Berlin's like. N no idea. Um, I mean, I guess we, we know that there's a club there. Uh, club Hole, which is uh, German for hell. I, I didn't know that. Um, and also apparently based on a real club. Pretty cool. And also Hole being like a reference to uh, something from one of the other Hitman games or something. Pretty cool. Uh, so yeah, we'll continue onwards. I don't know where the hell The Farewell will take place, but we sure will play it and eventually bid farewell to The Farewell. I'll have to remember that one for next episode.